Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we do have new, new, new. We have an exclusive world premiere of a game. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, what's tree going time. on here? Yum. Oh, it's yum. tree time oh, immediately. <laughs> Carl G wanted to get in early. Well, I can talk while the cats have some treats. Okay, okay. Let's that works flip for it me. around. Thank you, Carl G. He was waiting on that button. <laughs> Waiting on that. Didn't button. even get through the subscriber list. No. Who needs to see that? <laughs> you got to count. I'm going to be reading. I know. I... Both of them rang. They're queued up. Hey, Bachman50. Uh, so tonight. Oh, wait till you're done. Yeah, make a get, noise. Make some noise here. I got to get a handful. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. There are demands for treats ah! immediately. Um, so tonight we have four games, including Lucky Chase, which we have the exclusive world premiere of. Are you counting? Yep. Okay. Out loud? Oh, I guess you can't. Oh, no. You talk. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, by Raymond C., who's in the chat. Um, we also have The Core 2 by Thomas Yench, Fox Hunt Arena by Michael Scott Backman, and Wata Invaders by Kara Yojimbo. But I would like to thank the subscribers um twitch subscribers who are not scrolling down beside tanya because the cats are being fed you'll see them in a second but they are 8-bit poet al nafar arkham eight charm scar coder atari 800 excel rules atari 1974 atari hbr poco Man 2d oh my god charles adani mao charles will and colonel lama dno identity if you see dr mook has great offender ground trooper Roger, rapper johnny wc kaboomera kabuto kabuto kenzo carl g ken jennings invader kavelta ferg lambda express lauren tz marco hennis uh mark spacing military mc metal uh metal level mcmuse mike, mike soul mike latel miss command mk smith mr sunderwood mr fake money funster nate strum neo media nostalgic pack rpg kohagar into which i 70 render ghost friendless fg bar card of pm6 meets pity b smoke spice rest mirrors the teleprompter d train washman 89 ticket down k track md 2600 x ken x sold great offender says it's like an auction it is we're auctioning off this show to the subscribers and if you want to be a subscriber uh you can ding the bell like the cats and hit subscribe it is free with amazon prime and you don't have to watch ads if you do it what a great incentive if you have Amazon Prime, you just click subscribe and all the ads go away. You get your name read. It's totally free. And if you don't have Amazon Prime, it's not free at all. So you can pay some, some dollars Ten and, eight. and help feed these starving cats. 10-8. Ten 10-8. Eight. Ten eight. Wow, and he even ran out of the room. He too. ran out of the room, but... Uh, um, That's surprising. Sprite had a couple of issues oh. actually dinging the bell, which, which allowed really? Atari to catch back up. So. I heard some strong ding. There were some strong dings going on there. But, Good kitties. Uh, Good kitties. They both got fed fairly well. That's his best yet. That is his best. He was Eight doing very, very well. Versus ten. One day. Or Atari is learning. Yes. <laughs> Atari is learning. Yeah. <laughs> Not to wait. It's like an knows. auction. Ding, ding, ding over here. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, thank you to all those uh, wonderful subscribers who are now scrolling down yes. beside Tanya. Right here, right here. Um, let's see, some mail. We bought some polarizers Ooh, yes. uh, for uh, the camera yes. for the next time we do a Vectrex show. Mm -hmm. um, Why a polarizer? Looked, it, it looked really good last time, but yeah. I think it can look better with a polarizer and what they do is well you can look it up but it reduces the glare coming mm -hmm. back off of you know water or reflective surfaces any kind of reflective surfaces yep. and um it, it i think it gets rid of any light that's not in a specific wave form like um in a different a specific angle of light Yep. Um, so it reduces mm -hmm. glare that's not coming straight off of things. Mm -hmm. So if you have a polarizer on your camera, you put it on the front of your lens, mm -hmm. and you point it at the water, you could see the fish, <laughs> and not <laughs> yeah. just the reflection of the sun. So I'm hoping it will get rid of the reflection of us in the CRT when yep. we do the Vectrex show next time, the second one. So definitely did be doing that. We didn't play all the homebrew. There's lots. Mm -hmm. and I still have some more to play. So that should be good. Um, so, uh, update on the upcoming Atari Homebrew Awards. Yes. 
All the categories for all the games are now in the hands of the nomination committee, and they have begun voting for them. Um, some of them are even finished. Um, sending back which which games they uh, think are the best games of the year. Mm. Um, so I'm putting them into my spreadsheet, tallying them up, and they have till the end of the month, uh, January 31st, and then I tally them up and make sure everything's good, and then I pass them on to the public to mm. vote. So mere weeks away from the public vote, because they need to narrow down literally hundreds of games mm -hmm. down to six in every category. That's not so, easy. No, there's a That's lot of games. So yeah. they need to play all these games or at least be familiar with all these games and pick their top 10 and then we narrow them down. So you guys only have to play six in mm -hmm. each category. And usually there's repeats. So you don't have to play six in every category. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so that makes it uh, easier for you guys. And then of course we have the Atari Homebrew Awards at the end of February, Yay. live with us and the cats. Yay! Um, some news. Let's check out the news. The homebrew news. Where's my news? There it is. And of course, it switches to the wrong monitor as per usual. There you go. There we go. <laughs> uh, in Hokey slash Concerto news, Batari posted this yesterday. Mm -hmm. And he said uh, he's still emailing people um, about getting their hokey chips and mm -hmm. concertos. Um, but the more interesting news is that he is reducing the price of a concerto with a soldered in hokey. Because it used to be, okay, you get the hokey and then you pay the you get the concerto and you pay and the hokey you, on top. Okay. But now he's offering pretty much the hokies for free. Uh, oh, for the same price. For the same price if Ooh. you buy it soldered in. Oh, that's um, nice. That sounds you, like a good deal. <laughs> yeah, it's a great deal. So you can either get it soldered in or you can get it socketed okay. for the people who might want to swap it, it out, out for some out. reason. Yeah, fair enough. But I'm guessing most people are just fine with it in. Mm. Um, they're not going to play around with it. They don't have desoldering tools. They don't have to know how to do desoldering. So that saves you a couple dollars there if you want to uh, get a concerto. Um, uh, there you go. Those who don't need the flexibility can now save some money as I pass that savings on to you. Very so nice. there's some Very updates nice. on the concerto cart. Um, some other news <clears throat> today. Champ posted this a couple hours ago, four hours ago. Um, the full version ROMs for Kicks and Gorf Arcade are now for sale mm -hmm. in the Champ Games website as well as updated demos of those yeah. games so if you've been waiting to play the full game of gorf and kicks they are now available as a rom to uh buy um i don't know how much they are let's take a look um i accept your cookies because you pretty much have to mm. Uh, let's see. It's either cookies or nothing. That's, yeah, you, that's you how get, it works. You take these cookies or, or you get you no get cookies. <laughs> you oh, get there we go. So Gorf yeah. is twenty dollars, um, and Kix is twenty. I think they're that's all twenty. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. So if you for want the ROMs, that's awesome. for the ROMs. Yeah. So you can get the ROMs now, or you can wait for the Atari aged mm -hmm. store to have the full box in. Or you can get one and then the yeah. other one Thir if you want to play thoroughly, it now. Gorf is great. I thoroughly oh enjoy yeah. Kicks. I think it's such a unique and interesting game, and and yes, it plays so well. So and yeah. they do amazing jobs as per usual. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> there you go. You yep. can go to the Champ Game Store and get that now. Or if you've never played these games, you want to check them out. They also have the final demos of these games. You can play a limited version. Check it out. See if it's for you, and then go buy it. Um, and I think that is all the news we have today. Sorry, there's bad a cat cats, digging in a, in a in a storage space. Of course. <laughs> He's back now. Sure. ITC says, yeah. Gorf Arcade is pretty amazing. I picked it up, yeah. up, up at PRGE. So it was, it was available at PRGE if you happen to be mm -hmm. in uh, Portland in last October. <laughs> um, but uh, let's go on to the games. So the first game is Lucky Chase. Now, what does that sound like? Lucky Chase. What good game? No? 
Uh, see if anybody can figure Lucky it out. Lucky Chase? Lucky Chase. It is a port of a game. Like Rat Race No, or no poll like today. That? I can figure figure out a, a poll. <laughs> Nothing jumped to mind. I mean, I've done like dozens and dozens of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to come up with new video game um, or homebrew related Lock and polls. Chase, someone says. Lock and Chase. Ah, you got it. Good yep. job, Ivory Tower. Yep. But we have the exclusive world premiere of it. Yes, we're lucky enough to have the exclusive world premiere. This is by Carlos Centeno, Centeno, uh, known as Raymond C on the Atari Age forums. He is in the chat Yay! today, Thank so you for joining ask, us. answer any of your questions that you might have about the game. Nice. Where's that bad cat? I, I don't can know. Hear him somewhere. I can hear him. You can hear him like scratching. Uh, yep. <laughs> Um, so this is his fourth Lent game Lent that he's Lent made. Lent oh, thank you for following the legendary anime, anime JP fan too. One was taken. So <laughs> go to. Um, he uh, the other games he's made the end, uh, Stratavox, both oh, on okay, uh, yeah. cartridge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he yeah. also made Tomahawk Seven Seven Seven, which is also a great game. Mm -hmm. And this is his fourth game, thirty two K game. This build is from today. Hello, God of Japan Retro Gamer here. Very nice. Excellent. Glad you're enjoying it. Um, okay, let's pop it in. Okay. And uh, give it a whirl. Here's our joystick. And we played this recently um, on the 7800, wasn't it? Uh, a new lock and chase. So yes. So we're very yes, familiar we did. with it. 7800, yes, yes, yes. So we're very, very familiar with this game. So if you can load 5, that. 5200 oh, 5200. Oh my god. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Too many. Too many systems. Oh, cute. Lucky cute. Chase. That should say 2023. <laughs> I need to update it. Let me make sure. It's got a little uh, intro to kind of show you what's happening. Yeah. Very cute. Get the things. Run away from the from the... Cops? Ooh, what we should do before we start okay is this game was already ported mm. to the atari 2600 mm -hmm. um back in the day back in the original run okay. so we should take a look at that just so people understand why he made this and okay. what the upgrades are do you want to do you want to show that now or yeah or i think it's better to show it okay. now so okay. people can know looks a bit like the kool-aid guy <laughs> hi mr sarnawoop Hey, Mr. Zarnawoop. <laughs> Robin Banks, that's right. No audio in the um, in the intro there. If you could load it up. Where is it? 1977 to 92. Oh, right. That's the original run. Uh, Under L. Is it? H through R. Thank you. My brain needed to think about that. <laughs> you can I'm go like, to the right. H, I, J, K. Keep going. There you go. Lock and chase. All right. I'll probably have to get up and reset because none of these were. Oof. Okay. Now it's it's a good game. This is definitely a good game. Okay. This will also help me uh, get the volume right. Ah, oh, it's very loud. Here. Now this is a very good game in its own right. Oh yes. Um, it looks good. They've got the nice dots. They've even done um, the lines so they can have a dot where the maze is. Gotcha. Very very good. The original Pac-Man could have helped uh, used that. Um, they were very, very tricky and did some very good tricks with the enemies in this game as yeah. well. So there's no flicker, um, no, but they're very basic enemies. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I kind of like them, actually. There's uh, a simplicity to them that's kind of cool. Yeah. Ooh, that's it. Um, but it is missing. It is missing some things. Noticeably um, vertical locking doors yes you're right there are none it didn't do that um there's a couple couple other things i mean obviously the graphics are, are a little bit lower and carl g says pretty strong title for m network it is a very good game i enjoyed playing this game mm. um back in the uh, 80s and 90s okay it was really really good okay um so you completed that level yeah <laughs> now, now you can get an idea of what 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 it's um where it came from yes. and, and how it looked when it was uh, originally ported. Yes, very nice. Load it up. Load it up. Do, 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 do. 
Um, so, uh, Carlos said, hey, hello, James. Hope everything is fine and Happy New Year. Do you Cheers. want me to start? Um, uh, yeah, we've okay. seen this. I want the little go. guy with the hat. So, you can see the graphics are a lot better. happy and uh, the enemies are very worried Ooh, what happened there uh oh is that us yeah that'd be us some uh, kittens down. I'll have to watch ah! out for that. oh you just made it no i just ah oh you put a door ah you went right into him no i uh <laughs> scanline yeah. goofiness yes definitely there's some scanline goofiness Stop it. Go play with your ball. And it was right after you got the um, reward, right? Right after they stopped. Uh, yes. So, I'll have to watch for that. Try and get that hat. Okay, that didn't do it. So probably a little a little bump in the uh, scan line. I can, I can set something so maybe it won't do that. I'll have to check. Here's my fourth homebrew uh, game for the Atari 2600, Lucky Chase. This game is a port of the arcade game Lock and Chase. The object of the game is to take all the money, yellow lines, in the maze while avoiding four cops. Uh, use a joystick to move the thief in any of the four directions. Uh, uh, press the fire button to block the path behind you. Sometimes a bag of money and some items will appear in the center Ooh, of the screen for a few, few seconds. Try to get them as fast as you can to receive bonus points. <laughs> Uh, reach 15,000 points to get an extra thief. There are 10 levels in this game. All right. Finish the first one. Uh, please play it and tell me your suggestions and comments. We will. <laughs> sound here is rather the, rather good, especially on the dot pickup. Yeah, very good sound in this one. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ooh, crown. Put that crown on your head. Oh, yeah. So you can see the enemies have much more detail than the monochrome enemies made out of. Uh, oh yeah. Made out of the missiles. Which who <laughs> look very creative, who look though. like the security guards from. Um, Whoa, uh, that's close. What is it called? Uh, they do. No, no, oh, no, the, the other old one. one. Um, oh, what do they look like? Uh, the guards. The guards. Yeah. Uh, from, what's it called? A video game. Yes, the one that that uh, they just recently released. The guards. You know who the guards are. <laughs> the guards? The guards! The guards. I have no idea. This isn't Pac-Man, so you can't actually ever get uh, go after the enemies. Oh, uh -oh. Gosh. oh, oh gosh. Oh, there you go. Down. Ah. Down. You made it. Oh, ah. no. So close. The, the guards. guards. You know, the guards. That guy in that film that does that thing. You know, that guy. <laughs> Um, what do I want to say? The what is it? Oh my goodness! Where you're, it where you're need some more running hints. away from the guards and burying them in the ground, oh. and you're you're filling, uh, figuring out the puzzle of the maze. Load runner. Load runner. <laughs> I was one. gonna say Logan's Run. Well, close. That's what jumped to mind, and I'm like, that is not correct. That is not correct. That's a movie. <laughs> that is ah. a movie. That is... oh. oh, you're in trouble. No, okay, you made it. Do the guards go through the side doors? No, they or? don't. Oh, I don't think did. they did he originally. Did. did he? he just oh, did. I didn't. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, get that bag of money. I want to see if it fl flips out again. Remember where they are and try and move. And stop. Oh, it's oh. fine. Why'd you go up? I went up and tried to go down, but I didn't oh. flip. Oh, game over. Okay, well, your turn. 8,000. Halfway to the free guy. Do you get bonus if you trap guards in the corner? Ooh, okay, let's try that. <laughs> now you only get one. Yeah, the vault door is opening and closing as a nice inclusion on this version. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the last one didn't have, didn't have that. Of uh, the, um, the the animation the, of the doors closing. There were no doors cl opening and closing. Uh, you just, you just there set were. doors. No, 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 no there, there wasn't. Yeah, Not there in are. the first level there wasn't. Oh, okay, well there are. There okay, are. in later levels yeah. they have it. Really? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh no. Hmm. Oh, when I turn the corner, I'm going to die. Oh, my God, I didn't. Oh, he's right on my tail. Oh, my God. Maybe I should use my... Uh, your doors? My offensive, uh, defensive. Your, your, only, your only defense. 
Now... To trap them in the corners, you have to lay yes. two. A vertical, right? yes. So you, I, I didn't try that. I remember that from the 5200 game. Right. That you can get a, a really high score if you trap them in the corners. Oh my god. I feel like in the 5200 game, they didn't reverse course. They just kept, kept uh, following the same path. Okay. Whereas this one, they actually do turn around. Mm. Um, ah. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyone who's played it recently, maybe they remember that, but I don't remember them going up and down and back and forth. I kind of remember them following continuous routes. Oh, God. They're giving me lots of chances here, these yeah. guys. Lucky, lucky me. It does take a while to get all those uh, gold bars or whatever they're meant to, meant to be. Ugh. It does take a little while. Gotcha. Uh... So you can put two... Oh my god, why did I do that? Yeah, that wasn't very smart. No, it was not <laughs> smart at all. Um, you can block... I don't know if you can block them in this maze. Maybe in the top maze? Uh, because oh, you have to get them it. right in the middle, whereas I think some of the other mazes, like the 5200 maze, way? had a bit more of a path. Uh, so maybe yes. only at the top you can block them. Because I don't see a way to block them, really. Yeah. Why is that cat... Oh, God. Kitten. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, I gotta watch that cat over here. He has a bag. He's cat. being very trouble. It, you can't get that dot unless the door's and open. The, yeah, you do have to Even go though you're it. like one pixel away. Oh, come. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's closing it. No! Oh, my God. I'm doing terrible. You can trap the guards in any corner, says Rain. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I did terrible. 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 Oh yeah, you did worse than me. Way worse. <laughs> That's not usual. No. Hi. I was dealing with a cat. Yeah, That's my excuse. Yeah, blame the kitties. That's what that's what we all do. So easy to blame. They don't they talk are. back. Well, they kinda do. Sometimes. There's a bit of jitter. There's a bit of jitter. So there's some 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 issues either with scan line or Oh, yeah, you can't always reverse course immediately. I think it might be... Um, Based on when you do it. I have to be careful with that, because I like to go back and forth. Or um, it's tile-based. Is it tile? Is it tile-based? So brutal. Those doors are so often they open and close. Oh, come on. Hi, Purry. Oh, no. Oh, my tail. Tail's in my face. Hi. Oh, ah. Got a cat stole. You do. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Did I, did I talk about the cat setting off the fire alarm, the smoke <laughs> alarm the other day? Because they were so stinky. So stinky. I think I did. Yeah. Penny did it lots better. Yeah, she did. Because I, I just keep forgetting to use my, my blocking. Use the block. Oh, hi. Oh, you're adorable. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you're you have to be adorable. careful if you go back and forth. It'll always hit the door behind you, and then you can accidentally block yourself in if you're not. Yeah, I did that in my game. Uh, it's the last one you pass through. Not You're not pushing it, like, ahead of you. Yeah. Happy, happy, I love how happy. happy, happy, happy He's happy, really happy. happy. <laughs> He's like, I got the monies. Yep. Seriously, a cat can do that? Well, he's doing something. Oh my goodness. Sprite wants treats. Yes, Sprite always wants treats. Oh my god, he's like falling down my back. What is happening, cat? Ah, oh uh, I blocked myself. Kitten. Yeah, don't try to do anything fancy with the doors. <laughs> it just kills you in the end. My turn. Oh, is that it? You did worse, too. Is it just three locks? I think you got lucky the first time. I still beat you, though. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Very true. Hi. Hi, little black kitten. Um, he's really affectionate. Oh, he's super affectionate. He does get really happy when he has treats. He's like that little guy when he gets the, the big bag of money. He's happy, happy. He's a happy, a happy, happy kitty. Dance. Aren't you? I was purring so if much. If you don't know, the bags of money, I think it's the bags of money, come at regular intervals after you get X amount of the gold. Mm. It's either the bags of money come or it's the, uh, the other bonuses. To be specific, setting off a smoke alarm, yes. Yes, a smoke alarm. A smoke alarm. So stinky. 
the alarm but went we, off. But we looked it up afterwards. Methane gas. <laughs> um, it can be that, or it can also be just the dust. The dust from the litter. The yeah, if they kick up the litter. Up the dust. So I'm, I still find that hilarious. I think it's funny. The cats yeah. are in the bathroom, and then all of a sudden the smoke alarm goes <laughs> You're like, why is... Did you set a fire? <laughs> Have you become little arsonist kittens? Cause that, can you imagine if your cats could start fires? Well, they can if they are, uh, <laughs> oh God. They would cause a they, lot of destruction. If they, get, if they get on the stove and start. Oh, if they hit a, hit a knob or something. Yeah, yep. I guess they could. Your yep. parents' cats did that once, didn't they? Uh, this, no, uh, Atari did it once. He hit the knob oh. and mm -hmm. turned on the, but we have like an induction stove. He turned on the induction stove. Um, but we were there, and he got spooked, which is why he kind of... Oh my god! Oh. ROM size? Oh, 32, I believe. I think I said it at the top, but I believe it's 32. It's a lot. Got a lot going on. Oh, what? Oh, I guess I didn't... Oh my god. I'm gonna play again. Okay, you play again. Did you make it to the second level? No. You did. On the first game. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. did. Um, does your stove have touch controls? No, it was a knob and he kind of jumped up and got spooked and his back paw hit the knob and turned it. Well, um, which is pretty hard to do. Like I, I think just cause we were in the room and he got all spooked, he kind of flailed. Right. I don't think he would do that God. normally. Um, um, because we feed him on the stove. Yeah, we, yeah, we feed him on the kitchen countertop, kitchen so countertop. He'll, he'll jump up. Because of this guy. Yeah, because this guy will eat all his food. <laughs> very naughty. He's oh a monster. <laughs> He's a monster cat. He's a monster cat. He's very sweet, though. Oh, oh, odd. Our induction top has touch controls, and sometimes just placing a bag of bread or bagels wow. is enough. We have an issue, speaking of that, and I know I'm, I'm not a person who understands a lot about circuitry and hardware, but the circuit board for turning on our oven is touch controlled God. and it's right above so where the cooktop is and if you boil water on the cooktop it'll sometimes act it, it it'll short circuit i guess the the circuitry yeah. and it'll turn the oven on from the steam from the steam <laughs> Steam gets into the electronics. <laughs> yeah. It accidentally presses. That is a button. not a good design. <laughs> no, it should never be that. It's I don't a know stove. how that's possible. It's meant to have steam. <laughs> well, it's shorting the button, really. It's shorting the button. Yeah, just crazy. Anyway, not great. Coated with Batari Basic is what uh, Raymond oh C my says. God. Interesting. DPC Plus. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, one last life. Come on, I can do it. Steam ruined our over the stove microwave. Oh yeah. my god. Like, really? Oh my god, stop it! No! These oh. are cooking appliances. How can they not deal with a little bit of moisture in the air? Terrible. Terrible. <sighs> You've got a cat? I'm gonna play again. Okay, you go I ahead. I have to get to the second level. It's brutal. Yeah. It's, it's it's challenging. <laughs> it is. It's a fun, fun game. Much harder than fun the uh, M Network one. This is some fancy Batari basics, as it nostalgic. Is. Yes. Oh, oh the score was twenty six hundred, though. Yes. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. Well, Am I that's, bugging that's you? That's an accomplishment. Am I bugging you? You get mad at me? I'm mad. I'm mad at you. Monster kitten. <gasps> no. No. Oh God. <laughs> Tanya's first game is pretty good, I guess. Yes, Charles Wheeland, yeah. obviously. <laughs> She's doing something right, or getting all the bags of money or something. Uh, Beast Supreme says, I feel like Steam ruined gaming altogether. <laughs> uh, good, uh, good uh, one, uh, good one. That's pretty good. <laughs> that approach is d dad joke quality. Oh, it's way up there, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Fully dad joke. Yeah. Okay, come on. I use my door. Oh my god. Look, I used it again. Oh look, money. You get a tiny bit of time after you get the um, get the bag of money to uh, I should really head in directions where there are not a lot of guys. 
Ooh. Nostalgic has a good question. Do the cops have different strategies or does each just act the same? Ooh, that is a good question yeah. for Raymond. That would C. be complicated. Um, no, I like. No, Pac Man has uh, this. Oh my god. Stop it! The Pac Man ghosts each have different, um, different strategies. Um, Even in do... the 2600 version? Uh, I don't know about the 2600. <laughs> Oh, I'm so close. Oh, ah. Almost. Doing oh, good. they're all over there. Come Doing on. Doing good. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Now I just have to get. No. He's blocking the doors. Ah. Make a run for the bottom. Oh, no. God. No. No. Ah. Don't turn around. Don't. Yay. Good job. Finally. I still don't have <laughs> the score you got. Oh, my God. The audio. Uh, Cuban Ismo says, trick is to have a microwave from the 80s. Mine absorbs so much steam. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> I will fix the audio in a second. Woo! Yay, I, exactly. I can't um... Is the audio... Oh, a little bit behind. Yeah, someone mentioned that. Kool-Aid Man wins! Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, come on. That's not where I put it. <laughs> Oh, God. No. No. Oh, God. No. I set up. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. No, you can put two. Okay, so yeah. you can trap you, them. You can usually do two, I think. I think it's... too panicky to try and trap them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're going to come out. <gasps> ah! You do have to... You do have to... Because they move back and forth, you have to be a little you have to dodgy. Be ready. You have to be ready to dodge them. This isn't Pac-Man. <laughs> No. Oh no. Ah. I'm using them. I'm using the doors. Do it. They always seem to just Oh come on! He's... <laughs> he's... Oh come on! He's like completely following you. The Togo says Pac Man uses the same strategy for the enemies, but with different destination spots depending on your position in their corresponding corner of the maze. Yes. When in panic mode, yeah. Oh, Raymond says they have different strategies depending oh, on the level. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Kitten. Very good. Hey, Bit Poet. I can't. Oh, my oh God. that you that you're gonna you, you see that that gets cat blamed. That's a fluffy tail uh, uh, interference, uh, interference. <laughs> right cat there. Interference. Yes. Cat interference. Yeah. Oh. oh no! See, you can't. You gotta be careful. <laughs> I can't just press the button. No, you can't. Still didn't beat your score. Oh my god. What was my score? How did you do it? Eight something. Really? Yep. I didn't know my, my score was so good in the first no, round. I'll try and fix the audio, which is the bane of my existence. I always find my first round is sometimes my best. I don't know why that is. I think I try, I start trying out strategies and my strategies usually fail. Whereas if you just go with the flow. Oh my goodness. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> nope. Or you just play a little bit more cautious, and sometimes that, that's what wins the day. Novice luck. Yep. It, it is novice luck. There is something to exist. that. does exist. Novice luck does exist. <gasps> oh, see, I pushed down. I don't know what happened there. I was pushing down. He didn't turn around. Game disagreed with you. I know it did. Cat lateral damage. Cat lateral. Yes. Yeah. Good one. Good one. Press the button. Drop him in there. Oh, they're all ganging up. Get it, get it. Give you two, like two seconds or one second more. Run, run. Yeah, it's about one second. So everything's really good on this game. The only suggestion is to get rid of like the uh, the minor screen bounce once in a while. Uh, oh no! See, oh yeah, I don't know. I tried to turn around, but then I also just hit the door. Anyway, that was not good. That first level was fantastic, so. <sighs> okay. Cat lateral damage is an actual game? Oh my What? Goodness. Cats off. Cats off for, to you for that pun. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You're going to play again, or are you done? Do you want another? Did you want me to play again? I can do it again. I can play again. Okay, go for it. Because I did not do well that time. No. time. I just wasn't sure if you wanted to alternate so is the audio good now i played around with it if it's not good i have no idea what's going on because some days it's 
it's fine. Some days it's not. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna hold the joystick because I think. Let's see, it's still. Well, and that could be my turn. Anticipate timing. turns. You always have to anticipate. I don't turns. know because I was holding up and then it wouldn't go down. Do you know what I mean? No, and that 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 doesn't happen. I don't think. I don't know. Now, it's still delayed from the video, but only on the game screen. You and Tanner, Tanner in sync, no problem. Okay. Yeah, we haven't been in. The audio from us haven't been in, hasn't been a problem in a long time. Oh my God! I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see. Put it down to zero. Change it back. Oh, oh, kittens. Oh, come on. The doors open and close so quickly. Oh, oh, baby cat. What's the problem? You want treats? Of course you do. It's not treat time. Seems like about three seconds. Well, I did just change it. There's not a lot of sounds in this game, so it's really hard to tell if I was listening in. I'm going to just mute it here, and I'm going to listen in to us. Oh. Meow. Not good. So close. Oh, I thought it was there. Okay, don't say that. Because then it'll echo. This is really Really hard to tell. Try turning it on and off again. <sighs> yeah, I can't. I can't tell because I'm not super familiar with what sounds are when. Actually, the um, eating of the pellets is a pretty good indicator. You just had no pellets. Left. There's not a lot of. It's gonna echo through over and over. I didn't know you were doing. is just crazy way off. I have no idea how to fix it. No? Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Surprise appear and disappear before the sound went off. Yeah, it's at least five seconds behind now. Oh my goodness. How is it worse? I have no idea how have it could get worse. Have you adjusted it? No. Many times. Many times adjusted mm. it. And it just seems to be that. That's weird. I'm going to do something else. Let's see. Do you want me to play? Uh, yes. Okay. We'll cut out for a second. Okay. Now you guys let me know if it's still bad. I know it's hard to tell. When the prize appears, or the money bag appears, that's the music starts. Yeah. It's impressive there's five say, seconds lag, lag, latency anywhere in the system. Yeah, it, it is impressive that it's somehow storing it for five seconds. Actually, I've got a headset here. Here, and I don't have to be quiet or turn it down. It's a big... Where's my adapter? 
nearly on the mark now. Regardless, the game looks cool. Yeah, but I want to show it in its best possible form, of course. Like half to one second. Ugh. It's still terrible. It should be exactly on. It's, it's super annoying because everything on my system comes in on a different stream, right? Mm -hmm. And I have to line it up. Coming through double for them. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's like um, a tiny bit behind now. Of course, there's no dots anymore, but I just get out of maze. There we go. Yay! Level two. It's pretty good. It's, yeah. it's fairly on. As soon as you get the dots again, I'll be able to. It's it's definitely good enough now. <laughs> I'm not going to go crazy. Making me crazy. Okay, I'll have to remember that, that setting. You're very welcome, Nostalgic. Because, I, I mean, the, the developers put in so much time and yeah. work into these games. And for me to have a stream where it's just garbage mm -hmm. and it's throwing, like, all the audio work that they do just is completely out of sync is, is really disrespectful, I think, for, for the developers. And that's why it's making me crazy. And the fact that I can't fix it sometimes or I don't know how to fix it is is even worse um, because what it's doing mm -hmm. on my system doesn't make any sense yeah right down that setting well the thing is I don't change settings <laughs> from show to show so yeah. it's like oh my god nothing what? actually changes yeah. yeah so I got um, so let's move on to the next game now that it's fixed <laughs> Uh, yeah. Very, very good awesome upgrade. Game. Awesome um, game. To the original port of Lock and Chase. Yeah. The graphics are uh, heads and shoulders above. Yeah. The sound is better. The maze looks better. The colors are better. Love the graphics. Love, love the 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 robber and the cops in it and the whole thing is fantastic. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, and the look, the mm -hmm. look of it too is beautiful. Mm hmm. Burn any paper you might have used to write it down. <laughs> okay, so the next game requires a lot of preamble. It's quite a story. Okay, okay. From where it came from in, what is it, 1998. 98, okay. Um, to, to 2023. Okay. That's how long this game spans. Wow. In terms of... Development? Uh, development or? time, kind of. Okay, okay. So this, we're going to be playing the core two. But we're going to talk about the core original for just okay. a little bit with some visual aids so you don't go crazy. Um, so I want to thank, uh, give a huge uh, thanks to Alex79 um, and also to, let me see, who else? I think Propane13 as well, who did a lot of digging and researching mm -hmm. into this. Not for me, but for in general they did it mm -hmm. uh, to post in the forums. So, the original core game uh, was conceived by Paul Oswood. Um, I'm going to show you what it uh, looks like, first of all. And I'll change the cartridge as well. There we go. Um, so, this, this is the game. This is the only screenshot hmm. of the original core game. The only screenshot? There's one screenshot and no game. What?! That's this is all there ever was. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, DJ Simulator. <laughs> yeah, it does look That's like right. it. Yeah. Um, so let's go back to 1998 mm -hmm. and um, Paul Oswood's description of his game as the original creator of it. I've written a new game for the Atari 2600 called The Core. It takes place on a play field consisting of the region between two concentric circles of different radii. It is a two-player game where each player controls a paddle that moves around one of the two circles. A ball bounces between the circles, and each player must prevent that ball from hitting his circle by deflecting it with his or her paddle, bouncing it towards the other player, similar mm -hmm. to Pong. It's pretty much round Pong. Round Pong. Cool. 
The game uses yeah. driving controllers. Yep, that makes which sense. I have two that here, makes sense. which we're going to play with. Um, that came with the game Indy 500 by Atari. I will not be providing these. <laughs> Why would you? Um, they allow spinning forever in either direction, so you can just keep going around and around in circles. They're great that way. Similar to the player movement for the arcade game Tempest. And this is the way the players also move around in their circles. The fire button is used to spin the paddles on their own axis, similar to the pinwheel to control the direction of deflection. If a player chooses the rotation to be chosen to always be automatically tangent with the circle using the difficulty switches, the outer circle is split into 20 pieces. If a piece hits one, it turns gray. If it hits twice, it turns red. So you can see that um, in the screenshot there, mm. the gray and red. So you're mm. changing the colors. Um, if it hits a third time, the player loses the round. Mm. The player guarding the inside circle must prevent it from hitting a certain number of times, or they lose. The number of times is chosen using the game select switch. Number of times a player can still be hit is shown as black lines inside the inner circle. So you can see that with the three oh. black lines. So the inner circle has three lines. Whereas the out outside one is the colors. All those colors. Two colors oh. per section. Okay. Innovative. Pong type of game. Kind of mm. cool. Um, the game select switch can also be used to select how many rounds a player must win to win a match. It also can be used to select uh, a game in which the first time an outer piece is hit, it immediately turns red. So two hits total makes the outer player lose a round. Total number of rounds each person has won is displayed at the top of the screen. I stole this part of the kernel from combat. Mm. Okay. Hi. So um, Paul took a number of pre-orders for the game mm -hmm. um, at twenty-five dollars each on May fourteenth, nineteen ninety-eight. Okay. Um, from May May fourteenth, nineteen ninety-eight to June sixth, nineteen ninety-eight, hoping to get a hundred pre-orders. Mm -hmm. um, it was advertised in the ST Report newsletter fourteen twenty number one thousand four hundred twenty-two. That's a lot of newsletters. Yeah, yeah. On June fifth, ninety-eight, such as the retail price of the twenty of $25 includes the cart with a color label, a color manual, a black and white box, and shipping in North America. That's pretty good mm -hmm. to have a, a black and white box, a manual, a cartridge, and shipping for 25 It was 98 though. Mm -hmm. um, um, so he had the game, he had completed the game, and had half the pre-order EEPROM soldered onto the boards, and then but a number of disasters struck him oh, no. in November 1998. Oh no. Now get a load of what happened <laughs> to this guy. Um, and he posted all this, it's all public. Okay. Um, his daughter got meningitis and ended up in the hospital. Okay. His wife then gave his computer to her sister because he was spending too much time on it, apparently. That's what he says. Um, his car transmission died. Oh no. His cat peed in the dryer. Then both his children fell down and cut their heads open. What? And then the doctor glued one of their kids' eyes shut accidentally while treating their heads. Um, he then got his computer back in April 1999, five months later. Wow. Uh, from his sister-in-law. And he had 400 angry emails asking, where's the game? And wanting their money back. Because wow. he just disappeared with their money for five months with no response. <laughs> <laughs> His name Lucky. Yeah. Um, so one of these people was John K. Harvey, author of Pressure Gauge. Oh, which wow. Which we've played on the show. Yes, we have. Um, who tried to file mail fraud charges against him. Wow. Along with a few other people. But you, USPS said the internet was out of their jurisdiction at the time. At the time. Remember, this was the late 90s. Wow. And they're like, internet? What the hell's that? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's so funny. Um, and he, he then, after he got back online, offered to refund the money to Ed, everyone who okay. ordered the game. Okay. If they wanted their money back. Yeah. Um, so here's the source for that one. Wow. Um, Ooh, it looks like old email. Yeah, this old is... Old, tiny email. It's the um, uh, Stella mailing list. Okay. Um, which I was on at, at one time. Okay. Um... 
yeah, so here, like, the US, USPS stated that since this was done through the internet, it was out of their jurisdiction. I did send a letter to the state attorney's office here in Washington State, but found too much red tape. However, they state the internet fraud is a growing concern, and government is still trying to find ways to police such action. Seems so quaint back then. Yeah. Right? <laughs> As a final ditch, I did send a letter to the IRS telling them this individual has taken I income illegally. Wow. And has probably not reported his income on his tax return. Like, this got serious. Yeah. Somebody disappeared with possibly 25 times 100 orders. Four, 400? Did, didn't you just you say 400 people? 100. Oh, 100. Possible Sorry. maximum. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, so. <laughs> wow. At all the. Let's see. Wait a second. Um, then wow. there's a gap of no information or updates from Paul Oswood about the game after April 1999, other than his website from archive.org. Yeah. Um, do I have? Oh, I think it's. Yeah, so this is his website. Wow. Originally. Wow. And it talks all about the game and how much to buy it from. There's his, his address. His full address. <laughs> um, probably doesn't live there anymore. No. But then it. Um, wow. Then it changed to this. Um, on April, let's see, uh, April 19th, 2001. Okay. Years after that all happened. I'll be placing information and updates about the core here. Stop back soon and I'll have more information about the game. Um, and then June 3rd, 2001, uh, the following was posted to the Stella list by Russ Perry uh, Jr. Um, well, the original game was apparently lost Meryl to a basement flow. <laughs> oh, thank you, Raymond C. Thank you for subscribing. Awesome. Six months in advance. Oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, well, the original game was apparently lost to a basement flooding, ruined the computer. Wow. But Paul says that he's going to try and redo it. This was a couple of years after he wow. said he had half the EEPROM soldered. So theoretically, he had 50 games kind at of maximum on the way. ready to send out in the mail. What? But then why didn't he send those 50 out? I don't know. Yeah. That's why this is very mm, controversial. Mm, mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, Mm. Uh, for what it's worth, the people I was talking to in the process of pa tracking Paul down mentioned the flood and, and essentially verified a lot of okay. what Paul said happened to him, which was wow. a lot of stuff. And he was also working on Yahtzee, which I don't know if ever... Yeah. Um, I didn't go down that path and look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but then sometime after July 12th, um, Paul's website... <laughs> changed from this to nothing it just mm. gone he had no website just anymore. disappeared completely completely disappeared wow um so when the game come up came up ag again in the forum with the post from propane 13 uh this one uh, this game seem seems to be a uh, long forgotten so i thought it was appropriate time to share the story blah blah blah, blah. Oh. basement oh. flooding etc et oh yeah 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 here's the only screenshot as wow. far as i'm aware Truth is stranger than fiction. There's a lot more to this story I'm skipping over because it's crazy. Okay. Um, okay. You can read all about it in this li on this. On this. You post? have to do a bit more digging. Okay. okay. I did a bit more digging than okay. what's on this post because I thought this was a crazy story. Um, there was a discussion about one of the screenshots that Paul Oswood posted. Okay. And they're like, this screenshot looks weird. Okay. Um. I didn't know this was going to turn into a true crime <laughs> po podcast. Uh, oh, you it's could very, almost. very interesting. Nobody... You've got my attention, I have to say. Yeah, you, yeah. Al you almost could. <laughs> Hand this off to the gaming historian. I was going to say, you need to do a little mini documentary. <laughs> That's a lot of work. <laughs> it is, yeah. Here, here's your documentary live. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, so I did some digging of my own and wow. found a message from May 4th, 2000, posted by Andrew Davey. Okay. On the Stella mailing list. Wow. So here's Andrew Davies' message from May 4, 2000. I discussed the display with Paul, and he really seems to know what he was on about. Specifically, we discussed how he did the circular areas. I still have his email somewhere. In my humble opinion, he, uh, what he had told me about it sounds totally feasible. So my call is that it was genuine. <laughs> Actually, I would love to take over the project. Paul, send me the source code. But he, his house flooded just after that and no source code was handed off unfortunately right. yeah so that didn't happen uh, wow. 
And uh, Andrew Davies followed up with this uh, message on the same day. Um, from my memory, he, like the big concern here was that there was theoretically on the same line. Let's go down to the um, the screenshot where somebody really zooms in. Is um, this area right here? Okay. Um, oh, oh. Where there are not only a staggered the lines there for playfield. Okay. Um, well, there's also possibly this paddle. Okay. Or this player, this player, and this ball. Okay. And this playfield and this playfield, which are different colors, and that's the background. Uh, it's very hard to do, um, but not impossible. They they figured out. Okay. So okay. So so now we're delving fine. into: is this real or fake? Is it a real screenshot okay. or somebody something that somebody pieced together? Interesting. But there's a lot of eyes on this. Andrew Davy confirmed it at the time. Okay. Um, there's also a very detailed explanation that was posted by the developer. Okay. It kind of went over my head because at one point he says he uses two balls on the same line, which I'm not sure I've ever heard of before. Because he's using one ball on the left and one ball on the right. Anybody can confirm that. You may want to dig into what he said, but that sounds a bit weird. I've never heard of being able to put the ball on the same line twice. Mm. Um, okay, let's go back to um, here, where Andrew Davy explains it a bit. Yeah. Um, he positioned two balls. There it is, two balls. Um, left and right edge on each line through table lookup. As I recall, he had blocky background setting the rest. I recall there being an inner circle too. You can strobe the ball mid line as an advanced technique. There you go. Mm -hmm. I did. I've never heard of that before. I, yeah, I guess you can. Uh, uh, the ball only needed to even out the steps between the large playfield block steps because there's like a big rounded side and an inner rounded. So mm -hmm. so somehow he used the two block two balls and the same screen on the same line mm -hmm. which is an advanced technique but this is this is this guy's first game so oh, everybody's like wow that's okay. really impressive for a first game uh, first to be game. able to use that technique but he was able to explain it fully yeah to andrew davy it, it's unbelievable um but you can read the rest there and but uh andrew davy wanted to make the core redux using the same idea mm -hmm. um but he didn't have um the time at the at the time. Um, uh, I think I covered that. Okay, so that brings us up to date because that whole thing was discussed and Thomas Yench was very interested yeah. in this game. Yeah. And so he Ooh. started recreating it bit by bit. He's like, oh, oh. Can, can I do this? And he this did it without possible. the two balls, I think. Okay. He just uh, reduced down the size of the middle so that on the left and right, mm -hmm. it's just straight up play field. Mm -hmm. And you can use uh, all the fancy things just in the middle there. Mm. There's also a Vectrex brew called the core. Okay. Um, so, and he kept it with the driving controllers. And then, uh, yeah, he's doing a lot of analysis. Oh, look at that. He posted a binary of just like that, this that part version? of it. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he officially started his own version of the game, which, uh, let me see if I can bring that up quickly. Uh, there we go. And there we go. And so he Ooh. made it into an actual real game. Wow. <laughs> We're going to finally play tonight. Wow. Okay. Um, so this game started in 1998 and ended up now with a different programmer. But I think that's probably wow. the longest time a game from idea to playing it has ever happened. Wow. 25 years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, with, with no playable game at all yeah. for that whole time. Um, uh, except for the original uh, programmer obviously he played it mm. um so it, there's no doubt in my mind really now that the original guy did make the game okay but there was a lot of doubt through the years that he was lying well he was just stringing people along yeah he was taking people's money mm -hmm. um but i 
I don't think so. He's just a really unlucky guy. Yeah, I think. yeah. And and you know, homebrew is done off off the side of someone's desk a lot of the time too. Right? Exactly. So, so it's where where you have the time in your life to to work on it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, I did find this guy. I I did. Oh really? I didn't reach out to him. Cause okay. Okay. There's no reason to. Yeah. Yeah. But he's he's reachable. He's findable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty good at tracking things down yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah. Usually. Okay. Let's give it a go. And uh, like we said, um, uh, smoked uh, D3. Let's D4. see let's if it was see. worth the wait that. with that preamble. So let's plug in the two controllers because it right. is a two-player game. Yeah, that's cool. Gotta love a two-player game. Can unwind that, please. <laughs> that was the longest preamble of any game we we we've, we've <laughs> Just played. Up a decade you. longer than Party yeah. time for kittens. Oh, cat, cat oh time. thank you, Retro Gamer, nineteen seventy-five. Yes. They know that sound. They really do. Oh, they are well trained for treats. Yes, I mean, and catnip. Oh, he's he he's like oh something's coming out. Something came down from the shelf. That's always oh, a good sign. Oh Hello from, uh, well, um, hello to Norway <laughs> oh, and hello goodness. from Canada. So, that's not the right thing. Game has to wait a little longer. It's nip time. That's yes. It's serious nip time. This All right. catnip cannot wait. All right, kitties. Who wants some catnip? You want Let's some catnip? Put the cats on the screen. Let's squish that up a little so you get, the, get a little bit of, that, bit of that catnip scent in the air. I'll just get this prepared while yeah, the cats... Sprite is definitely not nearly as interested as Atari is in the cat. Party time for kittens. Yeah. Cats, 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 cats. Cats, 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 cats. All right. Okay. I think we're ready. We can have the cats on the yeah. small screen there. They're just chowing down. Yeah. It's we... not quite as entertaining as the treats, <laughs> but... Um, yeah. So if you can load that up. Okay, just starts right away. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so I'm the inner. Um, ah. And I think there's a, an advantage. Ah. Oh, no, that was bad. Oh, I don't think there's a game over uh, at the moment. No. No. Okay, this is still this is still a demo kind of. Yeah. Ah, demo. Ah, work oh, in no, progress. I think, I, I think his, I'm terrible. <laughs> his game operates a little differently, actually. Okay. Um, oh my goodness! It bounces off the back. I don't like those games. Oh, you're you can, you're not bouncing to the middle. That's funny. You can rotate your um your paddle by holding down the button and changing the angle. Sorry. Oh oh okay, that's better. It has a funny gravity. Oh. <laughs> don't think ah. there's oh there is some sound. We just can't hear it. I've turned it down. It's hard to hit the middle. The it gravity is. is very strange. It's it's almost like there we go finally. There's a huge advantage for the person in the middle. Oh, oh my goodness. But you have way more spaces to um to turn gray before you lose. Yeah, which which is interesting because it does provide for and I have to get an them advantage. All. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you have to, oh, you got one. Ah! With me. I only have four left. Yeah, well, Oh my gosh, it's You're super. Killing yourself. I find that, I, yeah, I have to get used to the changing the angle. Ah, ah, no! Ah! Oh my goodness, come on. Ooh, lots of gray on the board. Yes, there is. Oh gosh, it's really hard. Oh. <laughs> Did that part in? Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's the angle. What, what was that? <laughs> Got caught. Yeah, cause like it's bouncing. It's just bouncing back. Do you see that? <laughs> oh no! How how? Ah. how... <laughs> no. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> Nothing at all. Oh, that's what you could do. No, oh, it didn't it. work. It didn't work. Well, get in position. Angle it. Oh, there you go. You have to use your paddle wisely yeah that's that it's, was an interesting uh predicament you got yourself in there yeah it like, was beyond how, the scope how... of your uh oh damn it 
Oh yeah, it's still a work in progress. This is just days old. Um, I think he posted on the oh, first God. his his first um, work in progress. So it's just a couple, just like just under two weeks old. Oh my goodness. Well, I only have two lines left. But I don't you know how to. Oh, it doesn't keep its angle. Oh. So I, at the moment I move, it goes back to a flat angle. So it it does make it a little weird. So you have to position then angle. Oh God. Which is not too bad. Oh, oh no. It gets under. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's it's, how you it's do it. It's quite hard to adjust it on the fly. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Thomas Yanch? <laughs> It's cool though. It's it it's hard. It is hard. Not a big. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Does that oh. mean I win? Uh, maybe not yet. I think so. I think he said there's more. no. He said there's no end screen. Well, I didn't say that. You said that. Oh yeah, I, I haven't read the instructions yet. Ah, uh -huh. oh, yeah. No. There's yeah, that's it's... definitely the okay. end. Yeah. Funny. So I lose. All right. Well, we'll switch off. Yes. Um. No just score, a joust, just joust between two pay yeah. players, yeah. Um, what I was thinking... Interesting. Like, this is literal, right? Look at this. What, Jesse? Drinking game. I bet this is even better with a few drinks and everyone. Well... Like, you can yeah. see this. It's um, it's direct one for one. Yeah. What he could do is have acceleration in it. So it spins? So the faster you rotate it, the, f the more it goes. Mm. Like, if you do it slowly... Or does he have acceleration? No, he doesn't. No, no acceleration. But you could possibly have some acceleration. If you if you like if you spin it too fast, it'll skip. Like if you uh, do that, but that's the paddles issue. It's interesting. The, the paddle it goes through, I believe, four iterations. This is like a joystick emulator. Mm. It's like you're rotating the joystick almost through four different uh, angles. No goals yet, still work in progress. Okay, so let me <laughs> read off what Thomas Jensch has um, said about this game. Okay. Uh, inspired by the topic, I started programming my own version of the core named the Core 2. Yes, I'm not the most creative person here. Current version is roughly playable. Increased number of paddle positions from 16 to 24. To allow faddle, faster paddle movement, the driving controller responsiveness got improved. Now fast controller turns are not ignored anymore, but the paddle, but move the paddle two steps in the previous direction. Limited paddle rotation to plus two, minus two relative to the paddle position. As always, you have to tell Stella to use a uh, driving controller. The game starts becoming interesting, but I'm still not convinced yet. Perhaps I should create some kind of AI to allow easier player playing during development. Looking forward to your feedback after mm. I posted that we're going to play it. Uh, Rerolled all the kernel to offset the ball by one pixel. This will allow reducing the ball width from two to one while keeping collision detection intact. Increase the ball speed by 25%. I could add another 30. It's pretty fast. What do you think about the ball speed? It's probably fast enough at this point. But it could get faster as the time goes on. Possibly to make it to make like it start move. off pretty slow, like slower than this, yeah. but then increase over time. Or it increases with the number of, of areas that get that hit. Are left. Yeah. Um, added a co simple computer. Set left and right difficulty switches to A for outer and inner player. Ooh, is that mm. on the fly? Knowing Thomas, it probably is. Yep. There you go. Let's reset it. What is this? As an AI. AI. Let's see how smart this AI is. Do you want probably, to play me? Here, you play perfect. me this time. Well, I'm reading. Oh, are you? Ah. Add ball bounces at the border. Uh, the paddles rotate back to the default when you release the fire button. So Sorry? That's on, he, it, it's on purpose. What? Um, Say that again? I didn't hear what you said. The angle changes back to the default when you let go of the button. So no, but I can't move. I know. So so basically, you can only stay in one spot and adjust. Yeah, I don't know if that's good or bad. So Do you far, think I haven't be... gotten a single thing on the this AI? <laughs> I think the AI is perfect. It might be. I mean, he just again, it's his. It doesn't. 
The AI doesn't try angles, I don't think, but it just absolutely tracks the ball. Ugh. Oh god, get it out of that death spiral. Ball Neat. speed, room for more difficulty options there, yep. Reset and swap controllers. We will in one second. Added some basic sound effects. Change one outer border color from gray to purple, which is nice. I like that purple. Results in a nice color sequence from blue to red. Uh, outer colors and inner hits do not cycle back to their initial values. Added a PAL version. I find the inner player has a major advantage over the outer player. Oh, yeah. Each bounce from the inner player goes to the outer border. The outer player has to correctly target his paddle. To compensate this, the original game had 20 outer borders versus an unknown number of inner hits. Here, seven. I don't think this is sufficient. A uh, few ideas. So he's got some ideas. Players switch sides after a while. Yeah, or each turn. But then how would you count how well you did? Well, it's Then it'd just... be a cooperative game almost, because, oh, I'm beating you. Oh, no, now I'm losing because well, we switch sides. No, you have player one and two, and their they're score, they, 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 sw they switch. You could switch colors. Have a mm. yellow and a green or something, and... Yellow is always yellow. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't program, so <laughs> I don't know what what what's what it's capable of. But oh, you can switch colors. You could switch in, colors. The inside would have to be yellow. That's oh, what I, I mean. See. Like you've player yellow and player green, and then they switch, and now now you're. They would keep their. They keep their score. Okay, so the green, if it switched out, would all have think. a fresh border. And the yes. Inside would have when a fresh when you border? would start over, yeah, you would start oh. over, and then. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 Uh, different speed for the ball, which bounces from outer faster to inner slower paddle. However, the form of the ball can also target the own border, so it's not always, always an advantage. Player one defends the outer border plus the right inner border plus vice versa. Oh, that's very complex, yes. What is that? So he's talking about one player would defend one half, the other player would defend the other half of the inner and outer. Oh, one side almost. Yes. So you'd have the same outer you'd borders, have a double, but you'd have a double paddle. You'd have a double paddle. Inner scores. Yeah, double paddle. Interesting. Another oh. ah, it's stuck on the paddle. Oh, now it's gone. Uh, that was the computer having it stuck. Another unrelated idea is to give the player limited control over the ball direction after it hit their paddles. Like like steering, I guess. Okay. All right. Okay. Or a magnet where you hold on to it and release it. So we're going to switch. That would be pretty cool too. Oh, if like If you push warlords. the button, if if while ah. you push the button, yeah, exactly. Okay, want to start over? Yeah, warlords. Oh no, it's fine. Because you already lost one. That's okay. This is ooh, stiff. Ah. Oh my god. Yep. You see that? <laughs> you see you can get trapped if you get it at a weird angle. Oh, you oh. know how to trap it? Is to Get change the angle while it hits you. Oh. I did that just twice now. I mean, it's very hard to do. Ah! Ah, get out of there! <sighs> you gotta, you gotta tilt it. Oh my god, this is hard to get rid of. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Did it on its own, though. Playing the outer person is hard. Oh, oh you my just got goodness. yourself twice. That was good. Oh no, it is small. That that is one way to give um handicap to one person. Yeah. Is to reduce the size of one or the other. I would make the inner one even smaller. Oh. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to play with the angle, but it's hard to keep track of the ball cuz you don't move when you change the angle. Ooh, changing the angle on the outer guy is it's not no, a good idea. It's not a good. It's not a good strategy. Because you kind of shoot it at yourself. Yeah. Almost. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, there we go. Finally got it. No. If I change the angle on that play there, I'd just be hitting it at myself at a different spot. Oh. You got it. You did the thing. I did the thing. It's cool, though. Ugh. I wonder if it senses an end game for the outer player. Or is it uh, just no, never play? I, I never don't stops. I think so. Ah! 
You can try. I mean, yeah, because we'll, it uh, keeps playing when even if even if you beat me. Yes. Um, it keeps playing. So. Oh come on. This uh, is very cool. I do like the look the, of it. The concept and the look is really cool. Is it fun? Well, I think I, it's fun. It's it's something. You know what? I want it I to don't... be faster. Oh I my want God. it to be faster because I think if it's you do. <laughs> no, don't. if it's faster, it's harder. True. And it and the game would end faster. Oh, you you beat I me. I beat you. Yay. You beat me last time too. Uh yes, the outer so one beat the inner one because you don't have that many hits to win. I have to I you have to get a lot of hits on. He has a lot of hits, but I have it's hard for me to even shoot it at you. So it's f yeah, it's not it's not, it's not that imbalance. Yet. It's not that imbalance, no, because I only have oh. a couple spots left. And the driving controls are great for this game. Um, I don't think the um, movement is bad at all. It, you can move it fast enough around the um, around the screen because theoretically you only have to move it halfway around the screen from any given position. Well, not really. But you have enough time by the, by, by the time the ball gets to the other side because uh, the speed of the ball is not fast enough that you can't make it to the other side. Oh, God. That's the worst thing. When it gets trapped, yeah. Yeah, especially for you. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't take many hits, right? No. And it keeps it counts down for you. So let's want. let's try to get get yes. to your end game and see if anything happens. I'll just avoid it. <laughs> you try and angle it. It's much easier for you. There you go. Warlord style home hold and aim feature would be nice. That would be a yes. Good that's that's what I was gonna suggest too. Yeah, like I could hold it. Hold the ball and then aim and and then tilt and shoot. Do you know what I mean? Ooh, that would be pretty cool. I know how to finish it. There quick. you go. Just trap it in here. That's that's a good way of doing it. Oh. I'll try to get it. Ugh. It's actually hard to finish. Ah. No. I'll just leave it. <laughs> it's, it's not even hitting me. Stay in there. No. Oh! Close. <laughs> Close. It's neat. It's very, very neat. Visually I like it. amazing. It's, it's, it's. I also there's a part of me that really wants this to be like circular breakout, where you have to defend oh, yourself and I have to break my way out of 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 the. Interesting. Maybe it can be changed in, from a two-player to a one-player game. It could be a one-player game. Where it is circular breakout. Well, there has to be some way for you to die. Oh no, you're defending the middle, I guess. There's so many thoughts, possibilities with this, but this is cool too. I just yeah. feel like you could do you could do some some different little iterations on this game and. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, three left. Uh, getting there. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Like the tilting of the paddle is such a cool concept. Yeah, I really like that. I do. I wish it stayed though. Like you can move while it's tilted, but I, uh, I didn't play the one previous to this that had that option, so I'm not sure if it just didn't work Ooh, very good well. Good job, good job, good job. Getting there. Oh, 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 oh we're getting it done. <laughs> The Charles, fact that it's Charles Whelan likes the circular break idea a lot. Yeah, too. so do, like, you're defending the center and you're trying to break out um, to the outside. But you also have to def yeah, you have to defend yeah, your. Yeah, you lose you lose if if you're, the ball hits the middle, right? Yeah. So yeah, if you get that ball moving fast enough, that's a challenging game. Get over there, yeah. Oh, one more. Although it might be too easy, circular breakout, because it's hard to hit you in the middle. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, you might be more on defense then. It just has to be. Well, because it will will bounce around and hit and, and break the walls. So. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 
or in, you're breaking the middle but the fact that we have to know. work together and and we're to not doing a very good job of it either <laughs> no oh 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 shows that it's really hard for the outer guy to, yeah. to lose Ugh. yeah multiple balls would make circular break yes. more challenge. Ooh. Ooh, yes yeah if you could yes. flicker them at um well if, if this guy's gone you can have two balls if you get rid of this yeah. guy yeah come on come on you could just cover that last spot forever yeah Two that's players true. in the same outside trying to hit the center. Yeah, that's a possibility. You could you could either be breaking up the center or breaking uh, up. Oh, so close! One more. Oh, I think I got it. You can do it! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Just everything's destroyed. Everything's destroyed. Woo. There's something to this. There is. I don't know what, and I think Thomas is struggling with the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're tossing around ideas to tune it. I like the catch option. Yeah, the catch option would be... The catch is really good. I think the catch, catch option angle. Yeah. would make this more strategic. So you catch the yes. ball and you're like, okay, angle, now try it. And now try it. Like, I think that would be good. And you can make good... it faster if you could catch. Yeah. And also you can you can aim a yeah. little bit more on Especially hitting the for parts. The outside person yeah. trying to get the inside. Yeah. Catch and release. Catch, adjust, angle, and release would be, would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Can the center player lose? Yeah. At the beginning of the game, you can see the, they have... Um, Warlords like, yeah, exactly. They have uh, that many hits to have. Ah, ah. See, so it just got hit and yeah. it reduced down by one. So, I don't know if we helped Thomas or not. I don't know, or we just made it more confusing. But, uh, <laughs> it's like, Thomas, change the game yeah, completely, yeah. by the way, to yeah. uh, Breakout. Or warlords, whichever. It is a little bit of both. A little bit of pong, a <laughs> yeah. little bit of breakout, a little bit of warlords. It is. It is. Uh, there's, again, there's something here. There is something there, for sure. Just don't know what. Okay. Okay. I think we've explored this one. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have any really concrete ideas for this one. Yeah. Uh, next one is Fox. Oh, I just got to keep this going. Fox Hunt Arena. There you go. Okay. Very, very neat, though. Very neat. And massive backstory to oh, it, too. Oh, my God, yeah. Huge, crazy backstory. So, if you can load up Fox it's Hunt tree Arena. Time. Yum. Oh. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, they're right here. Hi. Is it treat time? It is. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, it started right away. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. That's okay. We will switch it back. Okay. Thank you, Atari 800 XL rules. Who ran first? Shall uh, I just assume you each have? Yeah, let's start them off. Well, okay. he just ran, so. Yeah, this part doesn't off. count because I do not have the treats ready. Okay. All right, one Which each. I'll keep track this time because we're not playing. One. It's one, one. One. Oh, shut that door. No escape. Oh, no, that was not a ring. No, that's not a ring. Come on, Atari. Wake up. You haven't even eaten it. So distracted. 2 1 for Sprite. 2 1. 3 1 for Sprite. Oh my god. Quick lead here. Oh, 3, three two, 2 for Sprite. No, you can't escape. <laughs> 4 2 for Sprite. Atari's eating them very slowly, savoring them. Oh, yeah, he loves it. Oh, Sprite broke that one up accidentally. 4-3, that did ring. Did it? Very, very small. Okay. Nope. Oh, 4-3 for Sprite. 4-4, oh. 4-5, four, 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 uh, five, 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 three. 5-3. Five, 5-3 three. Five, three for Sprite. No, harder? Harder. Harder. Oh, oh. distracted. 5-4 for Sprite. 6-4 for Sprite. Four for Sprite. Seven four for Sprite. Oh, he's getting ahead now. Seven five for Sprite. He tries to run away with it. That's the problem. <laughs> Eight five for Sprite. Oh, he's closing in on winning. Nine five. Oh, another slaughter. Nine six. Come on, Tari. You can do it. It's not much of a chance, but 
Oh, Sprite's distracted. No, that's not a valid ring. It's not a valid ring. He's given... Oh, oh! ten. Six. Do you want... First okay. Sprite. Here you go. Here ten, you go. Ten, six, first Sprite. He always gets a little bit extra because he mask. doesn't... Can doesn't. You... Where's the, the... What did I do with the treats? I don't know. Everything's everywhere. Oh, you moved them. <laughs> All right. We will hit restart. Oh, Sorry, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to start that. No, I need the treats. Sorry. Oh, I just give it to head. them. It's only two. Okay. Do you guys want more? One more? Oh, I have stinky hands now. There you go. Yes, you do. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, if you want to start at the hard level, no, we'll start at the easy level. We'll Thank start the easy the first. <laughs> yeah, easy first, then okay. we'll go to the hard Okay, we will levels. restart, though, because obviously the timer started. Oh, thank you for uh, being in the chat. Yes. Um, this is by Michael Sp Scott Backman. Oh. Uh, this uh, build is from today. Oof. Fox Hunt Arena. It starts right away. Go. I don't oh, know you're... what I'm doing. You haven't even explained <laughs> okay. what I'm doing yet. Okay. Might as well uh, just leave it. <laughs> yeah, we'll restart. Yeah. Uh, made this simple uh, little Atari 2600 game as a Christmas present. Intro, it's the year 2112. Woo! And you find yourself on the on Fox Hunt, the world's most popular game show. But Fox Hunt is not, not like any other game show. Of course, there's a prize money, a million dollars. But in order to win, you must hunt down your opponents and kill them. <gasps> it will not be easy. There are three hunters trying to kill you. You must find the right stations to get the codes that will set off the explosive, explosive charge place in each hunter's neck. Oh, you must find yourself. You find your if you find yourself in a tight situation, use the crossbow that you found. But watch out. Somebody dropped an XG7 laser rifle into the arena. Find it first. Run fast. Find every station. Fend off the hunters before they can find you. Let the games begin. All right. As the fox, your goal is to survive two rounds in the arena. At the start of the first round, you are defenseless. This was his easy round, so you're not defenseless. Okay. So you can shoot. Try it now. There you go. You have only your fleet feet. Find the key to activate the stations. Uh, the stations in this round contain health, the crossbow, and the first part of the code key. Okay. Uh, so you have a bow. You mm -hmm. must find and open every station to stay alive to, uh, to end the first round and start the second. Okay. Once you find the crossbow, you can defend yourself. The crossbow is limited and takes time to reload. The hunters will try to avoid you. If you injure them twice and they are out for the round, but they will be back and healthy for round two. Mm. I think you only have to hit them once in this in this okay. easy. In easy mode. Yeah. Okay, okay. In round two, the stations are filled again, but this time not is all good with them. You can find the second code, but you can find the second code to end the game or the secret weapon may be snuck in by a game fan rooting for you. Mm. The fox will start each round in his corner. Mm -hmm. uh, in the upper left field, there are 25 fields in the arena, each protected by one of the hunters. And they are more diligent when you are near a station. Gotcha. Each hunter gets two injuries per round. Their health counters are shown here. Bottom left. Gotcha. Uh, I believe... Um, when injured twice, they're out for the round. Use the arrow keys to move, or joystick, and the space key to fire, or the button. Okay. Um, the arrow or laser will fire in the direction the player last move or is moving. Gotcha. Okay. The game ends in two ways. You survive two rounds and find the code pieces, uh, releasing deadly charges in the hunter's necks, or the hunters injure you enough times and you die. And you die. Okay. Try not to die. Yeah. Uh, that's a good hint. Watch your score counter and see if you can beat your time. So that counts down. Okay. Options. Left difficulty switch set to beginner to start the game with the key, which we have. Right difficulty switch set the beginner to start the game with the bow, which we have. And there we go. Let's restart it, even though that's only for score. I love his run. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. There's nice little structures. What are, what are the stations? I guess I'll know. Uh, yeah, they're indicated by a flashing dot, so you'll, you will see them. Ah, ah. Dead. There we go. That's one piece. One key or one piece, yeah. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, some dropouts. Oh. Let me. Is it dropout or nope, is that intentional? Don't stop moving. Stop moving. Okay. Stop moving. Stop. It's not intentional. I'm just gonna change something. Okay. They can see. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Better. Um. Okay. Now try and go to the left again. See if it drops. There no. we go. Mm. It's more forgiving now.
Nope. Nope. Okay, stop moving. I have only run this in Stella. Well, we're testing it out for you. <laughs> Let's try triple buffer. Try again. Left. Go to the right. Oh, I can see it jump now. Yeah. That means I think I fixed it. But there's something wrong with triple buffer, and I can't remember what it is that I don't like. Oh, I got one. About triple buffer? Yeah. Oh. It does something funny, and that's why I don't have it on there. But What is that? Is that another hunter? Yep. They're very dumb. <laughs> <laughs> They're like cartoon characters. They're like, ah, but they run away in a straight line. That's not how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's funny you can go off the screen and then come back on. Oh, oh shut up. No, run off the screen. Oh, no. Oh, because oh. you can't r shoot right away. Your neck exploded. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Try again. All right. Oh, I think you have to hit the reset. Not couch compliant. The hunter spirit leaves their body. <laughs> uh, Fox Hunt Arena is based on the Atari 400-800 that was written by the same person, Michael Bachman, in 1983. Oh, gosh. So this is a, a long time between iterations of the game. Oh, what did I do? You went to a different screen. Uh, the game was in turn based on the movie Fox Hunt. Directed by Douglas Bachman. Oh, same last name? Coincidence? Mm. Uh, the movie premiered at the Horseheads High School Auditorium in 1982. Definitely not a coincidence. If he knows that it premiered at the High School Auditorium in 1982. Fox Hunt was a smash hit and was soon found by Hollywood and refilmed as The Running Man. Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Replacing Jim Good as The Fox. I thought The Running Man was... Wait a second. Running Man? Running Man was based on a Stephen King short story. Was it? Under the pseudonym Bachman. Oh, uh, there you go. Are you related to Stephen King? <laughs> or is this all a major coincidence? <laughs> What's going on here? It was Richard Bachman. Richard, Richard Bachman. Was his yeah. pen name. There you go. What's going on here? <laughs> I don't understand this story. No, no relation. But wasn't Running Man based on the short story Running Man by Richard Bachman in a short story, which I, I, do I not, read. I, I, I know I've read them film. some Stephen King, but I have no... Oh, that was health. I got health. The end of the Running Man was very interesting, which they did not include. Oh, the real one, because they, they're always more... Um, very dramatic. Crazy and dramatic on in the Stephen book. King books, yeah. At the, at the end, he flew a plane into the oh. building of the guy who runs the TV show, which obviously well before 9-11. Oh, oh, yeah. um, but very interesting ending. You can draw him out, shoot him. There you go. Uh, run away directly away from it. Yay. Oh, isn't that everything? No. Nope. I guess you missed one. I got all the hunters. There you go. Uh, oh, you got all the hunters. Yeah. There you go. Done on level one. Maybe a hack with Hunger Games theme? Oh, yes. Hunger Games would be a good um, hack on, for this. Am I still on level one? Or okay. uh, did it everything? Did you reset to your top corner? Do I go to the... Oh, oh there, there it is. is. I knew it was... There we go. Oh, on the plane. Oh, round two. Oh, dropped. oh, dropped a gun. There you go. Is the gun fast? A faster bullet? I think it is a faster bullet. Spirit. I got rid of him. <laughs> that hurt me. Did it hurt me? Uh, what hurt the thing? Oh, ah. uh, run! Sound is way behind again. Uh... Ah! Oh, what happened? <laughs> ah. Unfortunately, he spawned like right on top of me. Same thing! There we go. Why is the sound way behind again? That's weird! Ah! No, it's probably because I changed resolution. Oh, sweet kitten! Oh, What's up, poor baby? Baby cat! I'm gonna check again. Kitten. 
Oh, kitten, you just got some treats. Poor cat, starved for treats. That's pretty good now. That's pretty good. I think fix it. Um, I suspect the sound is thrown off. Um, because it's. Oh no! Oh my god. They spawn right on top of you sometimes. There we go. That should have been the last hunter. I think so. I just need to get all the stuff. I think the sound is thrown off every time it loses sync as well. And also when uh, the console is turned off too. Because I noticed, remember on one show, we went from 7800 to 2600. And the, sh the sound was fine on the 7800 till we switched over to this 2600. And then it was like, no, nope, no, nope, I'm all off. And it's, oh, we got the gun. Oh, I did. the gun. I, uh, I killed don't need all it the anymore. hunters, but still. Oh, Yay! both pieces! Great! Uh oh, their heads oh! explode! <laughs> Good use of the triplication. Oh, that's great. Okay, now I'm gonna play on the hard mode. Okay, okay, woo! <laughs> now let me just look at what the hard, how to turn on the hard mode. Scanner's heads! Yeah. Ha ha ha. Did you put, stick your face in my drink? Did you did. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, keep on no, ringing the nothing's bell. happening. Nothing's happening. Okay, left. No, no, nothing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> the two cats come walking You're in. Like, are you sure something? Nothing's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. I heard something happening. Okay, so we're playing okay. hard. I start with no bow. Yeah, there are some 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 uh, Hunger Games vibes going. Have loves cat. Oh yeah. No bow and. Oh. Uh, you have to find the no bow. No key or something? You start with either the key or the bow? I can't remember. Uh, the points stick away very aggressively. Yes, aggressively. they do. Uh, Bach, Bachman uh, 50 says, ah, plan to add a boss mode, play against the arena computer. I think that's smart, yeah. If you No notice, bow, no key. Okay. No bow, no key. If you notice, when you switch from one screen to another... They are at the exact same position from the last screen to the this this screen. Yeah. Oh, I see. Which is. Ah, you get caught behind things. Careful. Ah. Run, run away. Oh, there's so many. Run away. It says hunt. Kind of. <laughs> there we go. It says fox on the other screen. Fox. Clever fox. use of play field. Oh my goodness, where where is this bow? I can't find the bow. It's got to be somewhere down. Go down. No, no, no I'm doing it systematically. Oh, no, you can do that if you want. See, I hit the. Oh, oh he's always oh, trapped. Are oh, you stuck, you poor thing. <laughs> stuck in the wall. Oh my god, there's no bow. Oh! Yeah, they do kind of sometimes end up on top of you. No bow so far? Oh my god, I've been through everything. Have you? Oh, oh, there we there's go. There's a key. Get the key. Get the key. Oh my goodness. Still need the bow. Still need the bow. <laughs> oh, oh, there's one so. thing. Hopefully it's the bow. Nope. Yep. Health. Oh, good. Okay. That was health. That's good stuff. Run for your oh. life. There's the other one. I want a bow. Do, 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 oh, that's do, not do, a bow. Do. More health oh. is good. I want that. As well. Let's go get that. Oh, now you Now die. you've got a bow. Now you die. <laughs> I'll go get this one up here. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Ah! 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 Oh my god. What are you doing? You can't go through the wall. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. He's trying to break it. <laughs> it's hard. You're, waste you're losing a lot of time. Uh, that's just points. Oh, wow! Ah, happened? you ran into the guy. Oh, no. <laughs> you can go through the walls. Or did on, that, on the was that was that killing your health or something? That's weird. Oh, maybe I didn't it notice was. it. You maybe might have done that to yourself. I fooled around and found out. And I died. I wonder if things are in the exact same spots every time. I don't know. I'm going to go straight down then. And, ah! Oh! So I'm curious. Ah! It seems like they spawn all of a sudden that you get a few screens without the hunters and then it's like, game on! <laughs> Yeah, they give you a little bit of time. Get a little bit of leeway. Oh, no. 
It's happening down there, bad cats. It's much harder to start without the bow. Yes. Oh my god, it is ever. It makes yeah. it a a different much game. Much different game. You have to much search. more challenging. You have to search. Yeah, it's this is stealth mode. Stealth mode. Oh, it's not there either. Oh, nope, there's a key. Okay, let's start over. Go up to the top. Do again. you need the key before you find the bow? Then yes. maybe. Yes. Yes, because the dots don't appear mm -hmm. until you find the key. Mm, true. Oh, 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 oh. 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 It's bad news. Up and around. Oh, you hit me for a little bit. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh. You got the first piece. Ah. ah. <laughs> are they faster on this level? I feel like they are. Oh. Okay. Oh, you got the bow. Oh, thank you. You stay down there. No. Okay. Oh, you got him on an angle. Wow. Accidentally. That was Absolutely. impressive. I, I'm oh, impressed. Good, some help. I'm, I'm impressed too. <laughs> Completely accident. What a shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, no, you can't do that. Stupid. Uh. Come out here. Come down here. There. I like how, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right in the, in the knee. knee. Uh, <laughs> no more adventuring for him. No. Ah! I do, I do like that they, they run away. It is, it no. is good. It gets yeah. rid of them. They're like, ah Bye-bye. <laughs> is there a bit more bad guys on the hard level? No, there's there three. Is. There's only three hunters. Oh, okay. The red well, one, killed... the brown one, and the and the purple oh, one. Okay. I've and they them all they then. spawn yeah. at different places. Oh, okay. Yeah. I believe. I believe. I'm maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's oh, But you've health. got one more to kill. Okay. Yeah. More health. Oh, there he is. Is that supposed to be them going to heaven? They're just going to to um recuperate. That's that's right. Because they it... come back. And their necks don't explode. No. Because they come back and... Okay, can I kill him? I doubt it. Ooh, almost. He's blocked. He's blocked. Ooh, he's gonna come back, though. Start at the top. Oh, not that Around. one. I think they tend to be... The dots tend to be in the same place. Kittens. You've had so many treats. What are you asking for? What do you want? Do you want to play games? <laughs> games. Cat games? Cat he had games. his little ball here. He did. His crunchy ball. Uh, he brought went. in Froggy. Did he? Yeah, Froggy came. Oh, There's Froggy. Froggy. They have a lot of toys. They rarely bring their toys in, but they're doing it a bit more now. Yeah, I've noticed that. Oh, I think this is the last piece. Oh my god, still not the last piece. Yeah. It's much harder on the harder level. Yeah, they're taken to the hospital. They're there injected with steroids and adrenaline so <laughs> they can right. come back and fight again. <sighs> Okay, the gun is in play in this one. I still have my bow, thank goodness. Yeah, this would be an easy hack to make it into Hunger Games because you have a bow already. Yeah, there's a little bit of a yeah. I mean, I mean, he's going for Running Man. That's cool. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've seen the movie or read the book actually. I know the premise of it, but I don't. Ah. I don't think that's. Looks way better. Well, that's often true. Like, destroys the movie. Yeah. Like it's not even like marginally. It's. So so good that I think they should remake it. Oh, is that it? Yay! I did it on hard mode! Oh, dead. Very cool. That's, yeah. that's um, <laughs> Running Man book. Yeah. The laser is faster. Um, that's why I wanted to put it on the show, because it had something really cool to it. Yes, me. yeah, yeah. It had this element, you're searching for things, yeah. you start without a weapon. and I, I like the I like the movie reference, too. Yeah. I, it's fun. It's a fun game. It is a fun good game. Good job. Yes, <laughs> yeah, very good, Bachman. It's Bachmann. really fun. Um, and uh, thank you for uh, being here. Yes, and, and uh, joining the stream. Joining the stream. Yeah. Um, He's really, really loves it. He loves the game. Look at this guy. Yeah, he loves treats is what he loves. <laughs> Come on, down, down, down. Okay, so we are on to the last game. I had to split this up into okay. two notes because that whole um, 
that whole information about the second game. Oh, the played. core game? The core game. I could, that's so fascinating, that whole background. It is. Yeah. There's, there's way more to it. I'm like, but, I was um, not expecting, like I said, for this to turn into like a true crime. Uh, <laughs> kind of true crime. Uh, podcast. Well, we okay. need to get down to what, what actually, is it true? Is what he said true? Is this, you know? I don't know. Oh, Reach out, Tom. Interesting. Next yeah. one's called Wada Invaders. Okay. Now, does everybody know what Wada is? No. They're... Uh, I was thinking SATA, and it had something to do SATA. with writing disk drives, but... Um, oh, there's a game called Scuzzy something. Is it? <laughs> and it is about disk drives. Okay. It's funny. Um, four mm. seconds for the bow. One for the laser. Oh, it's, oh, it's uh, okay. the, re the um, uh, regeneration of the shot. Yeah. Scuzzy side, that's it. Yeah. This is one of the few games of this kind of played to the end. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not super long. It's just two levels. Yeah. And you could extend it to more levels and make it harder mm -hmm. and more things to collect mm -hmm. very easily. Uh, WADA is a game grading company. Oh. That was very, very recently in the news again. For um, WADA. Wow. So this, it's quite this a coincidence. Feels slightly um, uh, controversial, doesn't it, Ken? It's a little controversial. Is it a little controversial? Um, okay, so load it up, okay. and I'll tell you how, what it's all about. This is made by uh, Rick Pryor, he's known as Kerry Yojimbo. Okay. Um, it's a brand new game. Okay, okay. This one's from J January 8th. Uh, he also made uh, Galactopus, Ms. Galactopus. Oh, yeah. Amazing game. Shattered yep. Earth, beautiful game. Mm. Um, uh, late one night, while searching the dark web for proof that Guy Fieri and Paul Hollywood are products of a sinister Illuminati cloning operation, <laughs> you accidentally stumble across an even more diabolical plot. Wada's plan to seal every copy of rare Atari 2600 oh, games no. behind an impenetrable wall of graded copies of Space Invaders. Oh no. Uh, armed with only your name brand foam dart launcher, <laughs> you head to the secret Wada warehouse to stop them. The water guy moves back and forth across the top of the screen. The fiend, says uh, Chelsea Donnie Mel. Um, whenever he reaches the edge, <laughs> e edge, he adds a game to his wall. Okay. Move your character left and right with the joystick and use the fire button to launch a foam dart. Hitting the water guy with a dart stuns him momentarily and causes him to drop a rare Atari game. Yay. Collect 10 games to get a bonus and start a fresh wave. Uh, if your dart hits the wall of games, it will reflect back at you. I did say it was an impenetrable after all. Additionally, the water guy will chuck graded games at you in self-defense. Either, either your dart or a graded game hits you, you lose a oh. life. If a graded game lands, it will stay on the screen for four seconds. Oh, act as a barrier. The game ends when you lose your last life or the water guy finishes the wall. Oof, he shoots hard. I, I, yeah, really fast. He's good at throwing. Ah, he throws up through the wall. Oh my god. <laughs> Shot okay, no, no, I just wanted to test that out. I plan Okay, to, interesting. I plan to add a breakout like second phase to the game. When it's finished, the game will alternate between phase one, the current game, and phase two. This is an update of the Sky Destroyer game I made a few years ago. I still need to update some of the sounds and graphics and add a few other things. Um, lives. You start the game with three lives. The game ends when you run out of lives if the water guy finishes the wall. Darts. If your dart hits the wall, it will reflect back to you. If it hits you, you lose a life. Water guy. He now throws rated games at you. If one hits you, you lose a life. When it lands, it stays in the playfield for four seconds, acting as a barrier. I'm working on a second base. A uh, very cool background. Death by Tanya. <laughs> Death by yourself. I'm gonna let you play first because ah! I've figured out this game. Oh. <laughs> How to Oh I won. Never get hit. Oh. And he never even shoots. Oh really? Yeah. He'll have to probably do some. Oh, updates. is it just timing? Uh it it is timing. Oh, you're doing pretty good that way. Ah! But Smoosh. that's a very deadly way of doing it. You've almost got it. Having shots bounce back at you and having the enemy shots sit at the bottom it makes it more interesting. Those are really good game mechanics. So ah! your window Smooth. to shoot him gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Ah. And the fact that his bullets are so fast really adds a lot to it. Now... Oh, smush. Uh, so show me the trick. I want to see the trick. Wad Invader seems to be a mini game. It does not last long. Yep. Uh, they had a sizable booth nice. at PRG. Yeah, we did see them there. Mm. Okay. Oh, I'm not 
to it well. There we go. So he only shoots when you're directly below him. Oh, I see. So if you shoot... And get him before he... And the game never gets on. Yeah. Game, so. <laughs> he needs he needs to be more erratic in his movement, I think. Yes, rather than because a, he just goes back and forth and back and forth. Rather than pre plan So if I, you move out of the way, well, it's there, but it should be almost random if he goes left or right after you shoot him. Yes. And then it, it wouldn't be quite so stop it. Back out. Just trying to get in my desk. Knock my water over like last time, spilling it everywhere. Um, so, what did Wada do recently? Hmm. Well, somebody saw an auction on eBay. It's well covered, so you probably all heard of this. Yeah. Um, somebody saw an auction on eBay for a graded game from Wada, which is very, very not unusual. Um, it was a PC Engine game. Um, it's Dracula X, a very sought after game, mm -hmm. which um, put out for the PC Engine, which is. Um, TurboGrafx-16 in, in uh, Japan, uh, which is a CD game, and somebody noticed something, um, and it was it was sealed by WADA, graded 9.5 or whatever, 9.2, pretty high, highly graded. Mm -hmm. um, but somebody took a close look at it and noticed that it was a counterfeit game. Oh, really? Yes. So they graded it. They graded it a counterfeit. counterfeit game. They don't not grade it as a counterfeit game. Mm. They graded it as the real game. And this game is very expensive. Are I, are they sure that it wasn't counterfeit like the packaging too? Uh, they only. This is a sealed game. Yeah. Um, it was definitely counterfeit. The game, but I mean the the water, like the packaging for it. Oh. Do uh, they know that that wasn't counterfeit? Well, they apologized today. Okay. Because, okay. Well, that says a lot. Because they have a serial number on every graded game that they can trace back to their database, okay. going, "Oh yeah, we did grade this game." Yeah. Um. And the excuse they gave was, "We didn't. We didn't know that this company made." Um, counterfeit games okay which is n which is not really an excuse for a company that is are the experts yeah. on grading games they should know every counterfeit yeah a uh, company that makes counterfeit games for one yeah and how to spot the counterfeit games yeah. um so this guy's selling it for like five thousand dollars on ebay when it's and the shipping's worth he's charging more shipping than the actual game is worth. Well. yeah it's like sixty dollars for shipping when this pirated game is not worth sixty dollars. It's worth whatever the paper and plastic is it's wrapped in. Mm -hmm. And the cost for pressing the CDs, which it's not much in large quantities. Charles Wheeland C D R copy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, it's a glorified C D R copy. If it's even that. <laughs> yeah. No, they're pressed. They're properly pressed. Because um, it's a sought after game. So. No, no, I mean that if it's if it's a counterfeit, it's a CDR copy of the game. Oh, yeah. No, it's pressed. Most likely. I'm sure it's a good. It's a. It's a at least a decent, passable looking. Decent pirated. Yeah, pirated it is. Copy. It's very, very yeah. decent. No, no, yeah, no. That's that's funny. Um, um yeah. Lutlet says that they have Dr Dracula X and it's their prized possession. Oh my God, that's. Yeah. Like many years ago, I was thinking about buying it, but then I yeah. looked at the price and it was like hundreds of dollars. Now it's way more, way more. And Ivory Tower Collection says I own Rondo for the PC as well. Ooh, it is nice. one of my one of the highlights of my PC collection. Nice. Yeah. Before so, the prices got too crazy. Should I wow. roll the game? <laughs> you gonna roll it? <laughs> I don't know. It's got a little ways to go, but. Oh, I missed them. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, wow. it, this is just a work in progress. So, it, yeah, it doesn't have the second but level. But I mean, it's it doesn't a, speed it, up. If you can um, manipulate it, then it probably needs a little bit of adjustment <laughs> in the gameplay. That's fine. It's cool yeah. though. I like it. Simple game. I like the, the wall bouncing, um, like that. That your shot bounces across. Um, what I was going to say. Um, the wall. Bounces oh. back from the wall. Yeah. Render Ghost says two player would be fun. 
And then Ooh, I noticed... Um, yes, that would be a great option. Yeah, and then uh, someone said, yeah, it would also might be interesting if there was a wall behind him where oh, your shot back. would bounce back. Yeah. That would be good, too. That's also an interesting then thought. Then you really have to be careful. Yeah, and then if you miss it, it's going to come back at you. I do like the color scheme. That like chartreuse and green it's is a pleasant. nice. I like it. I like those soothing, two colors. Actually. The kind of deeper color and the um, the the neon color. Nice. Yeah, Chitlidla, I bought it about 15 years ago for about 150 dollars. Yeah, you Good gotta deal. get them before it goes crazy, right? Yeah, you kind of have to know beforehand know what games are good and rare usually the ones that um the ones that are the most expensive are the good games at the end of uh systems run because by that time people have moved on from it and not as many are produced um so that's that's basically your guide but I was reading today yeah. that, at least in UK, they released, uh, somebody did a study that 90% of all new games are bought digitally now. Yeah, I, I'm sure it's that's not true. A I'm not m remotely surprised about that. Yeah. So, really, and I mean, most of the consoles. Yeah. All the consoles allow for digital. Yeah. And some of the consoles don't even have a drive anymore. Like, Switch has a drive, and there's no non-drive version of the Switch, but for, like, PS5, there's, I believe there's a non-drive version, and also for Xbox, there's a version you can get without a drive that's cheaper, and the fact that 90% of games are sold um, without a physical copy, there's, why wouldn't people buy um, versions without a drive for cheaper, right? Yeah. That makes sense. Just sad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's good and bad. Yeah. <laughs> We've discussed this many times. Yes. <laughs> um, but it's al also almost irrelevant anyway, because even if you buy something on disc or cartridge, in the case of Switch, they still have cartridges. Yeah. Uh, which is super cool. In I still I age. still like that, that, that fact, actually. They yeah. went to GameCube and went for discs and then went back to cartridges yeah. again. Well, it's also kind of a handheld, right? So... Yeah, you don't want... You don't. Yeah. You can't use discs. That's, yeah. uh, that's the reason. Um, yeah. But if you get it on... Even on Switch or PlayStation or Xbox, the thing you buy is almost an activation disc now. Yeah, right? yeah. Because there's it's true. day one patches... Yes. A lot of games are broken at some point where you can't even progress. It's true. So if all the servers break down and you're, yeah. you wipe your system and you put in this disc, you probably can't even finish the game yeah, because it's true. so broken. Because they ship them out as soon as possible yeah. to get that money um, to recover their development costs. my money. Yep. <laughs> Which, you know, yeah. people keep buying them day one or pre-order them for, like, the tiny trinket you get. Um, or the bonus, you know, sword in the game you get. Yeah. Um, so they'll keep doing it. It's almost a novelty now to have something physical come with a game. It is. And yeah. I almost feel like that's going to come back around where people will want the physical thing. Even if it's not the game itself. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, like it, it, think, it think of all the collectibles people have associated to gaming. Yeah, and yet the game is, is ephemeral. Yeah. You know? And there's something kind of funny about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, people do it with vinyl now, and even cassette tapes are coming back a little bit. Bratwurst sausage. So this is Laser Pope versus Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> I am uh, Laser Pope. Yeah, yeah, Laser me. Pope. That's right. It does look like uh, kind of Frosty. The Michelin <laughs> Man. Vitoko, uh, I was wrong. You can last for so long. Yeah. <laughs> 625,000. I'm going to roll it. Yeah. I'm in this uh, long for uh, it. Smoke 3D forces. My friends with kids like the digital so their kids can't lose or damage the physical media. That and that's a massive advantage to it, true. too. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Ooh, almost 80,000 or 800,000. Almost there. That was a big bonus, that one. I don't know how I did that. Mm. 
Um, but I still like physical media, but we have kind of moved on. We, we're, In some ways, yeah. We've moved on from consoles. We just have Steam and Itch now on a PC. We don't have a, the newest yeah. except for Switch. We have a Switch. Because it's so unique. And also... Um, and it's handheld. We like that. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, the games that are unique to Nintendo too, right? So, yes, you can't get them anywhere else. Um, and that keeps you coming back to the, the console and the games. But you can play almost all the Nintendo games digitally. You don't need a cartridge for sure any of them. Oh, no, yeah, like all of them. Yeah. You can play them all digitally, yeah. but um, if you want the cartridges, they still sell them. Yeah, almost or, all of them. A lot of them. I mean, yeah. some of the smaller titles now. No, but um, but a the lot of ones. the major games, oh, you can 100%. still buy them, and there's something nice about having them physically. I don't know if that's like the Japanese mindset yeah. of it, to have the physical copies of it, but I, I appreciate it. I yeah. really like having having those, knowing for the fact that just like for the 2600 mm -hmm. x years later when i'm old and can barely see the screen <laughs> i can still play a switch game that yep. i own yeah and they haven't turned it off just like you know nes or you can still play your 2600 games and exactly. let's face it our eyesight is going to be so bad the big blocky characters gonna are be, not going to matter whatsoever it's going to be great <laughs> it's we're, all going to come right back around we're going to put on our vr goggles <laughs> that's right and play a 2600 game play 2600 games <laughs> Um, preference may also be regional. Uh, uh, Masahiro Sakurai um, surveyed his viewers as to whether they prefer physical or digital. His Japanese viewers preferred physical around 55%, but the English audience preferred them 70 oh. And like, you know, um, space and then Bratwurst's space is much more limited in Japan. Hey, and Bratwurst. people, uh, yeah, uh, and people, <laughs> um, uh, don't like having a lot of physical crap around. It's true. And, and, uh, I totally get that, you know? What? I do. Yeah. She's been traumatized. <laughs> uh, As she builds up her uh, yeah. cricket collection. <laughs> um, vinyl sales exceed CD sales. Yeah, I mean, vinyl, well, again, yeah. but it's a similar concept. It's, it's about having condition. the music in a physical format. Yep. And they may not listen to it very much on the vinyl. They may listen no. to it in digital form like most people do in their headphones through Bluetooth when they're walking around through just, their phone. Just put the vinyl up on the wall or display Or when it friends on come shelf. over and you're trying to create a vibe, you That's know. Right. Um, but there's there's still value in having that, I think. So yep. it's just it's just not as you know it's also nice to not have it if you don't really care. Yes, reselling. Yes, reselling. that's the huge thing. You cannot resell yes. digital. Yeah. Like that's and and the companies love it. It's a huge byproduct of digital. Um, if oh, it's like oh, I like the game. Can I borrow? No, I can't borrow it. Yeah. You have to buy your own copy. Sorry. 8-Bit Pod, I miss album covers and game box art. That yeah. is the advantage of that media. Or but... game manuals as yeah. well. They're nothing but a plant pamphlet saying, warning, yeah. don't play video games yeah. for too long. Yeah. Put the disc in the drive. That's the, your Yeah, manual. exactly. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of, it kind of upset me when manuals for everything started to disappear. Yeah. Even for like appliances. Oh my God! Yeah. Um, and it's like, oh, now you have to go hunt for it online and make sure you have the right one for the right version. I, I don't hate having physical manuals around. Well, we've almost rolled it. But almost. Will this be it? Yeah. No, not yet. Yeah. Part of the motivation we have for buying physical games is for the feelies, the manuals, oh, the yeah. maps, the art books, the soundtracks. Agreed. I agree. Keychains. Yeah. <laughs> the keychains. Yeah. Yeah. Rendered ghosts. I'm the same way. Less physical stuff makes me content. And I'm, I, there, there's a lot of crap you don't need. It's too late for me. <laughs> Save yourselves. I, 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 I keep <laughs> shoving all his stuff into this room. He's like, like we, we're going to put this upstairs. I'm like, no, we're not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Squish it in the closet. Um, but yeah, there are things you do want physically. Books. I tried. Yeah, Render Ghost. Uh, not big a fan of the digital books. I I do. You do both. I do e-reader, but Mostly. I do like physical books. And if I find a book I really like, oh, I like. It. Oh, you did roll it! Yay! Didn't even notice. Yay! Yay! I beat the game. Roll. <laughs> Thank you, Charles Whelan. We weren't paying attention. Now I did. Now I can die in peace. The yeah. Pope can pass away in peace. Yeah. Um, As is tradition. Nostalgic. I like ebooks for borrowing from a library, but if I buy a book, I want a physical. Um, yeah. 
I I do ebooks from the library too, and I do buy books for my e-reader. Yeah. But if I really like a book, I want a physical copy of it. So I do buy physical copies if it's something I go, I really like this book, I will right. buy a physical copy. Yeah. And then I'll reread it too. So mm. another patch, um, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, if they ever put a patch out for the yeah. work in progress version of that game. Yeah. Um but, I, I like the concept of the game a yes, lot. Yes. Yeah, it I do. It just needs a little bit a of little tweaking. changes, a <laughs> little tweaking. Yeah. Um, and the second level, which will change things up quite a bit. Yeah. And and um, uh, James wants his Wada Invaders patch whenever it's That's ready. Right. <laughs> That's right. Um, so let's nice. take a look at what's coming up <laughs> on the show. Uh, on uh, Tuesday, we're going to be playing On Escape uh, on the 8-bit. Mm -hmm. It is a point-and-click adventure which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. And also we're going to be taking a quick look at Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny. Now I say a quick look because Ultima 5 takes thousands of hours and we won't be playing thousands of hours. We'll be just taking a look at it. It's very, very cool. Um, um, and then on the 27th, we have the developer spotlight on Andrew Davey and an exclusive world premiere of his new game which is to be announced. I don't even know if we'll be announcing it before the show. It might mm -hmm. be a uh, secret. I'll be asking him soon about that. Uh, the Atari Lynx special might be coming sooner than later because my Lynx is in Richmond right now. Oh, it's here. Clearing customs. Oh, hoo -hoo, that could take a while. <laughs> it could. Yeah. <laughs> but that's very exciting. You still estimate so seven to like You can almost days. reach out and touch it. Almost. I could if it it's wasn't behind so like a barrier of U.S. Yeah. And guards. they tackle you to the ground if, yeah. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mess with the U.S. guards, by the way, at the border. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Not a good idea. <laughs> and uh, then on February 3rd, we open the voting. Nice. For the fifth annual Atari Homebrew Awards Yay. to everyone. And we start announcing the nominees yeah. and playing through the nominees, which awesome. is the best of the year of 2022. Yeah. And that's five episodes of the of those games. We're going to have to go fast and furious because we've added Jaguar this year mm. to the list of games. Mm. Um, hopefully I have all those games on the Jaguar because Jaguar usually comes out on cartridge. May or may not have all of them. Mm. We'll see. Um, but we'll be able to play through the Lynx ones as well, because I'll have a Lynx. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, good mix of games and epic story time, Yeah, too. it was epic story time. There is Ultima 5 for 8-bit now. It's kind of Ultima 5, but kind of not Ultima 5, uh, but it is. It's actually more official than not official. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I got a Lynx 2. Mm -hmm. um, heavily, heavily modded. Mm -hmm. Consoleized. So I can plug it into this system nice. and broadcast to the world and hold a controller in my hands. Nice. Sitting afar from it. Sitting afar. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be really, really cool to play that. Um, tracking tracking shows it left France back in the middle of November. Nothing since. Oh, he's talking oh. about his controllers. Oh, in television. You still haven't got them? Oh, no. Wow. I got I was probably one of the first oh, people no. to get the Intellivision controllers. Oh really? And people have been ordered around the same time. It's been months. Oh no. Since when I got them and when they haven't got them. Then they ship while we were up here, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, wow. no. Ooh. Ooh. Number twelve wow. on the list. That's brutal. Yeah, there's a lot of people on the list going, oh, I haven't got it yet, I haven't got it yet. Wow. But the guy says he hasn't gotten any returned back huh. and i have them so they do exist like, so is it shipped. is it that is it just the americans who haven't gotten it maybe maybe u.s customs is like taking taking issue playing with them? it yeah playing with them they've got them in a back <laughs> room like, click in television yeah. i can i can play some old in television games yeah. on my television too yeah i i don't know, I don't know. those <laughs> those border guards whenever we come back after prg and and they go well why were you in why were you in our country and and we go uh oh, or yeah. no why were you in the u.s and we're like oh we were at you know a gaming convention and, and, they, and they always want to know if you've been buying or selling stuff because they don't yeah. like that and they're like oh well what kinds of what kind of games some of them say nintendo uh, nes yeah. some of them actually uh recognize atari well, and coleco and intellivision the age you know it depends on their yes. age yes. but but when you start talking about the you know the game systems 
they always get excited, which I find really funny because usually they they're do. very stone faced. They're like, they oh, light up. oh, I played in television when I was a kid, and I it kills me. The yes. last couple of times we've gone, the they've border been really guards. Good once we say that. Once once they've gotten through their heavy questions, kind of start getting all excited and and start talking about the game systems they played as a kid. So, I find that it's, very. It's fun. a good thing to yeah. say at the border. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and when when I've got to, gone across the border to film festivals funny. too, they yeah. light up as oh. well. Really? Yeah. Like, oh, a f what film? Is it yeah. your film? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's like, oh, yeah, it's my film. And I go, what it's about? What is yeah. it about? And they yeah. get they get kind of excited because yeah. again, once ninety nine percent of the people going through it is like, I'm going to a conference, no, I'm going to to whatever. a business conference, yeah. or I'm going to visit my relatives. Yeah. It's just so boring yeah. for them. So when they hear about video games or movies, yeah. they're like, Woo, <laughs> it's party time at the border. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tell the border you're internet famous. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they're pretty yeah. good. <laughs> and they also have their serious questions to ask. But it's they kind do. of, once they've done that, then, yeah. then yeah, are you it's buy, kind of cute. Are you bringing anything over? Yeah. Are you selling anything? Yeah. Are you working? Yeah, exactly. And I go, no, I'm no. not doing any of those things. Yeah. I'm just going down to yeah. play some games or yeah. show a movie. Oh, Ivory Tower Collection says his state was missing on the address. That's that's oh, a problem. Really? I mean, Would that be as long that big a problem? As long as it says U.S., and your zip code, but the zip code the should get you matter. there, right? Like, the yeah. state should matter. And the U.S. should get it to the U.S. And then once it's in the U.S., it does, the zip code should be like, I know what, yeah, what uh, state that is. Yeah, and, that's weird. And right? even city based on yeah. the zip code. So you d wouldn't even need your state or city if it read the zip code. Yeah. Theoretically, there's some redundancy. Tulsa, not okay. <laughs> <laughs> not Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, zip code is there, but they didn't have United States listed. Oh, that's that a problem. That could be the problem. That's a big problem. More of a question of attending PRG and not crossing the border with all those new games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's an yeah. issue too. Yeah, exactly. Bring over hundreds of dollars or thousands well, of dollars in games. Well, if you don't, then that's that's weird. If you I don't just, have anything in your car. You just say they're worthless. They're old junk. It's Tulsa Like, France. look at this. They're from 40 years ago. Yeah. Junk. They're old junk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tulsa, France. Oh, oh no. no. Well, yeah, as long as you have... Yeah, that's when the, the country... The country needs to be there because that gets the, to the country. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if zip codes oh, no. are country specific. Um, I mean, in Canada, our, our postal codes are different than British postal codes because ours have a pattern that are different than the British pattern, I believe. Really? Yeah. Just But it's just letter, number, letter, number. They are letter, both number. letter numbers, but I think the pattern's a little different so that they can't really be mixed up. But or do they have five and we have six? I think they have five and okay. we have six. Yeah, 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 yeah. U.S.? I don't know if anybody else uses uh, like us. pure numbers for their zip code in the idea. world. There's lots of countries. I bet there's some. I'm sure there's a YouTube video on that somewhere. Ooh, yes. <laughs> CPC, CBC, CGP Gray should do that one. Oh, yeah. On, on, zip, yeah. on zip codes. I'm surprised he hasn't. I'm, I'm, he's done everything else. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, and, <laughs> Thank you. And, <laughs> Thank uh, you for watching. Also, yeah, the uh, fifth annual Atari Homebrew Awards, February 25th. 25th. Saturday noon. Mark it on your calendar. Scribble out anything you already have there. And uh, tune in. Make mm -hmm. sure you do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so there it is. And of course, I'll be reminding you for the next month and a half about that as well. Uh, so the games today, Lucky Chase, super fun lock and chase for mm -hmm. 2600. Great graphics, it was great, great sound. Really super looked fun. amazing. Really hard. Yeah. Maybe put an easy level in there. Yeah. That was really hard game. Yeah. I barely made it to the second level, and you barely made it to the second level. I think level. I could, you could go further, though. I don't think, I think it, was, it was too bad. A little bit of practice. Using yeah. the doors. Yeah. Yeah, the doors. you got to get got, got to get your kind of door game I working. Because I keep forgetting about that. Yeah. Uh, the Core 2. Um, Neat. It's very cool concept. Yeah. Uh, there's something there. It It's almost there. Yeah. Um, need some work. Uh, we didn't have very great suggestions, but... So no, no. Good breakout. Lots of lots of neat ideas and 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 possibilities to yeah. explore if you want to explore them. We had breakout. Very cool. He had some ideas as well. And then we went over the whole history of that game. So that if you fun. missed the early part of the show, Rewind. 
it's yep. it's it it was quite quite not what it, what I was expecting. Quite fascinating. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I, want, I want to know more. <laughs> I really like Fox Hunt Arena. Yeah, as well. excellent. Yeah, I think that could be extended some more. Yeah, more levels. I don't know what else. It's yeah. very good as is, especially on the harder version of it yes. too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And sure. Wada Invaders, very good start. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that being extended as well to that second level he was talking about. Yeah. Maybe implement some of the things we suggested, especially fix what I just did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that make is, sure I can't cheat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you don't want any, any cheating there. Um, so thanks for tuning in, everyone, especially the chatters here. Lots Azure 6502, Ivory Tower Collection, Mr. Zarnawoop, Bratwurst Sausage, Nostalgic 26, uh, Smoked 3D4, um, Chalcedony Mao, Carl G, Rendered Ghost, Dan AVC, Old Style. Charles Whelan, Bachman, thank you for yeah, tuning in and talking awesome. about your game. Yeah. Really fun. Yeah. Um, who else? Fatoko. Did you mention Chitlitla, Azure? I think you did. Azure 6502, maybe. Yeah. 8 Bit Poet. Mike Soul. Um, Metal Lunar 7. Beef Supreme 07. Yeah, thank you for joining. That's a new name. A new chatter, yeah, I, yep. I saw. So at the top of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, Pro 7. A and name Pro I haven't 7. seen in a while, too. Oh, yeah. Thank you for joining Thanks us. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, you take it easy as well. Uh, need to check on VOD to learn what was going on in uh, Water Invaders. Yeah. yeah. You, you saw what I was doing. That's not really how it's supposed to. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. James and Mrs. Tanya. Yes. You're very welcome, Beef Supreme. Somebody who knows me from a while back, but I don't know that name. Mysterious. Hmm. <laughs> um, so have a great weekend everyone and we'll be back on Tuesday with some more fun Atari games so we'll see you then bye everyone yeah bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. N3O Neo Venom Neo Venom yeah bye bye